I am very excited today. Good morning, good morning, my darling jewellery makers. I hope that you're all right. Sorry about my hair. I had too much cut off and I don't like it at all. Don't like it, don't like it. I feel a little bit like crying, but it's fine. Um, now, I am joined by one of the most amazing guest designers today, a, a, a genius when it comes to anything friendly plastic or jewel enamel and more. I am joined by the wonderful Liz. Hello, my <laughs> lovely. Hello, Jenny. Actually, I think your hair looks beautiful, actually. Thank it you. does, it really suits Thank you. Thank you. I yes. feel a little bit older, like I'm growing up. <laughs> I picked my son up from school yesterday and he went, no, no, no. You know, kids don't like it when you yes. change, do they? <laughs> yes, but that would probably make you feel worse about it, but it actually does look lovely. Does it? Thank yes. you. <laughs> <laughs> now, Liz, I'm, as you know, I'm very excited. Pre pretty much rugby tackled you when you came yeah. through the door. I was like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so did Kirsty. Then Kirsty was like, my go, my go! <laughs> uh, we're so excited to have you here today because we all love your jewellery. We all try and sneak a bit home when we can. <laughs> Tell anybody out there who's just tuned in what we can expect from you today. Ah, we've got some new things happening today. Uh, yes, <laughs> some <laughs> new things. We're going to do a bit of friendly plastic and we're going to do some ooze. Oh, I love a bit of ooze. Yes, in a different way. And we're going to use the melting pot in a different way today okay. as well. Okay. And we've got some image transfer with jewel enamels. <gasps> Yeah, and we're going to do some Christmas decorations. Because Woo! <laughs> and if that wasn't enough to whet your appetite, I know that I'm not going anywhere for the next four hours. Stay where you are. I hope you've got somebody in the kitchen that can bring you continuous cups of tea because you're not going to want to move a muscle. I've also got the launch of Liz's <laughs> DVD, which is major. We only have... 50 of these so not everybody's going to be lucky enough to grab it it's called bend it shape it anyway you other songs are available <laughs> <laughs> did i cut off in time before i get sued <laughs> now uh, liz your brand new dvd coming up for us today again m more exciting things uh, in the pipeline for you and i just cannot cannot wait you're going to be getting perhaps the very best christmas present for your best friend today maybe it's for you maybe you should start christmas present for yourself to me from me sounds quite appealing because I know I'm going to like it. At least you know you get what you wanted. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> now, without further ado, we're going to kick off today's early bird. Keep interacting with us today. Make sure you're sending your questions in for Liz now-ish so that we can collect them all together and relay them all at the same time to her. Now, we all know that if you run out of findings, it's pretty much horrific, isn't it? Because you've just started stranding something, it looks amazing and you can't finish it. There is nothing more frustrating. And again, I'm going to give you what we consider here at Jewelry Maker, a trade deal. So hop on those phone lines as quickly as possible. It might not just be actually necklaces and bracelets that you, you use these for. It might be that you're going to use the T-bars for your cufflinks. It might be that actually these are nice mm. pendants. They do make great features. It doesn't matter if you're friendly plasticking. It doesn't matter if you're chain mailing. It doesn't matter if you're polymer claying. It doesn't matter if you're silver claying or, um, or, or whatever medium you're using. If you're weaving, whatever you're doing, toggle clasps can be incorporated in some way or another. And like I said, there is nothing more frustrating than when you have finished a piece of jewelry to run out of findings. Now in this antique bronze, you've got that look that everybody's striving for at the moment. You've got that steampunk possibility, that vintage possibility. Look how many there are. You have got 98, 98. How many have I got in total? 98 is a very random number. <laughs> I thought there was a hundred pairs here. Uh, do you know, I will go as far as to count them for you. I will. <laughs> you got a hundred pairs in total. I don't know where the random number of 98 came from. It's 100 pairs. <laughs> I think it's because it's 98 findings that we have in our findings pack. That's what it is. Now, if you want this, Oh, that's what's wrong. It was the wrong code. Wrong description. Oh, well, we started. It's live TV. It's live TV. <laughs> what more can I say? What more can I say? It's going well already. Hey, listen, when bad things happen at the start, 
it can only mean for a brilliant show yeah. later yeah. on. Have you ever done that? When you try and get ready to go out of an, of an evening and all your makeup goes rubbish and your shoes suddenly aren't going in your feet and your outfit looks look really nice in the shop. Now you've put it on, ugh. And you just think this is going to be a rubbish night. You go out and you have the best night you've ever had ever. I actually, I always get a little bit suspicious if I get ready and everything's going fine. Because you know me, I'm not a sleek, happening person. <laughs> Things do go a bit wrong. Now, okay, there we are. It's easily fixed, my jewelry making darlings. Now, you get a hundred pairs. You are getting a hundred pairs this time of toggle cuffs. And like I said, in antique bronze. So for your steampunk looks, for your vintage looks, you've got it down. Now get yourself on the phone lines. This is going to be a fantastic early bird. We do anticipate a set out for these. Open a basket this morning. If you know that you're tuning in, ready to get your jewel enamel, ready to get your friendly plastic, it's all happening today, <laughs> then you know what? Pop these into your order because you're not going to pay any more than that one PMP. You can use your debit card or your credit card to come shopping with us today. And there's one in two ways. Let me pick a proper one up for you, ain't there? Just scooping them, aren't there? So many. It's one of the two ways in which you can come and get yourself involved with us today. You can hop on those phone lines, 0800 644 655. It's a free phone number if you're dialing from a UK landline, or you can get Webby with us. It's all the W's.jewelrymaker.com. We're going to give you a deal that means you are buying these, I think, pretty much at trade price. Where else do you get your findings from? How much do you pay for a pack of four? I've seen them in packs of four in that big shop. It might be that you've got a local beaders and you go there for your findings. Maybe you're paying individually. If they were only 50p each for a pair, which isn't bad, 50p a pair, that would be 50 pounds, wouldn't it? That's right, yeah? Yeah, that's right, because it's 100. I don't trust my own maths. There are lots of you on the phone lines for these already. Loads of you. are popping these in your baskets online. So without further ado, we're going to give you your early bird price tag, which is just 19.95. Unbelievable. What's that a pair then? 19 pence a pair, 20p a pair, isn't it? It's an outstanding value. Liz, do you buy findings like this? Yes, I do. But I have to say, I do get mine wholesale. You because, get yours wholesale? Yes, <laughs> yes I do. But that's still an amazing price though. It's still um, an amazing price. Do, yeah. do you think this reflects the wholesale prices? It's getting pretty close to it. Yes, yeah. it is. Yes. So whoever's out there going and wanting this, it's a brilliant way of getting them. Yeah, really do you know is. what? To get them in bulk just makes so much more it sense. It does, doesn't because it? you can use them in so many different ways. That's yeah. the thing. People think of toggle clasps only for closures, but they're not. You can hang things from them, you can embed them in friendly plastic or jewel enamels or polymer clay. Absolutely. And have them as little, um, like bales, make bales out of them. <gasps> yes, you can. So, yes, you, you can. can. use it's them as little anchors, can't yes. you? Yes. Absolutely. What about, Liz, you know how people are putting watch findings in? Now, these are antique bronze finishing yeah. in your resins and things, so you can see them you too. That would be that. good, wouldn't it? Yes, and of course you can colour them with um, the uh, swellagant and things like that. So you got. I think because of the e-coating, you have to use your primer, because we were trying right. to make these oxidised, <laughs> and um, what Gemma Crow was, and she said she had to use the primer because of the e-coating. Yes. Because it's so good, the e-coating, yes. and that's actually a point for you. The e-coating is the, it's brilliant. In that you're coating it, it prevents tarnishing. Now, unless you use a, um, a primer on top, then um, I mean, you still can put pop a little bit of verdigris over these, it looks fab, but you've got to use your primer so it protects, um, protects the oxidization, but it also makes your findings hypoallergenic. Which means that if your customers, or in fact your dear friend that you're going to make a piece of jewelry for, is, um, is, is saying that they're allergic to non precious metals by buying something that has e-coating on it makes it possible for them to wear without reacting. Now everybody's skin types are different but we have done many many tests on the e-coating and found it to be wonderfully effective every time. HQGP92 is your item code. Now don't forget, get interactive with us this morning. 60777 is the number to be texting. Make sure you put JM Studio before the rest of your message, otherwise it floats around in uh, Jewelry Maker Towers, not knowing who to go to. We've already had texts today uh, with questions for uh, so Sally in Northampton, or Sharon in Northampton. Oh, she likes my hair. Thank you. I I've just feel a bit, you know when you feel a bit nude and you brush it and you go Ugh, with your brush you're like oh my hair's gone I'm not used to doing this. I feel a little bit like that it's very strange very strange now I, do I look my daughter said I look less like a horse 
<laughs> because my <laughs> horse, yeah, I look less like a horse. <laughs> is she at the stage where she's in love with horses, though? Oh, she's been at that stage since she was two well, years old. Well, there we go, then it's yeah. a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> you know, looking like a horse is a compliment. Yeah, maybe. Oh, mummy, you look just like my horse. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure I'll take that, Liam, but thank you. <laughs> yeah, she's trying to be nice. Molly said, don't beat her up on air. She's trying to be nice. No, these are very, very limited. Let us know, what has your ch child said to embarrass you today uh, that was meant in a loving way? £19.95 is uh, your uh, your price tag, 6777. James Studio, followed by your message. Let us know. Has your child looked to you and said, Mummy, you look beautiful today. Your beard is just like Father Christmas's, perhaps. <laughs> you know, something like that. You know, kids do do that, don't they? You're like, oh, you look just like Dora the Explorer, Mummy. Brilliant. <laughs> now, uh, we've, we've been okay. I know so many people are asking, friendly plastic, when's it happening? Jewel and Emma, when is it happening? Soon, soon, I promise, as soon as we possibly can. I love it too. I'm so excited by it. And I just think to use a medium that we're not used to seeing all the time and to actually have it, it might be that you've got some in your cupboard right now and you're just waiting for Liz to be there till you get the confidence to get it out. Well, I'm going to give to you our starter pack, which is here am i getting my do i get the these already separate whoa yeah okay now i'm going to show you all the different colors first of all of the strips now these have all got a black backing to them for a reason which we'll talk to liz about in just a tickle so you've got the red that's really lovely christmas red and you get two of those two of the red you get the copper as well. Actually, Jenny, one of those is burnt orange. Oh, is it? Yes, it's hard, maybe hard under bright lights to oh, see. Oh, but when it's when yes. it's when it's Shines. heated, it's but oh, thank you. Yes, yes. it's one's red, one's burnt orange. I just think you get yeah. Okay, so those are actually separate colours. It's hard to pick up because they're super shiny. Yes. Now you have got your purple, your gold, your silver, your green, your black pink gosh you get loads and you've got is that bronze it's black oh that's spanish copper i'm just Ooh, looking at the spanish copper yes. i like the sound the gold that you're talking is actually called cit cit citrus is it yes it is on the yellow sort it's of green gold yellow. though doesn't it it's quite goldy yes yeah. it's not but there is a gold in the range which i think we've had before okay so so you've got one we will be getting again or something six, seven, eight, nine, ten of the strips. Now, a little goes a long way. And basically, you're cutting these to whatever shape you want. You can form the two colours together using the heat gun. And we're going to talk a little bit like that about that in a sec. You are going to get... Liz going to do a wonderful demonstration um, if, on Friendly Plastic shortly. Now, you've got your Friendly Plastic DVD put together by the wonderful Liz, and you get to work... It, it, towards producing lots of different fabulous jewellery. Now, it doesn't have to be jewellery. There's lots of other things that you can do. So if you're, if you're sat at home and you're particularly crafty, maybe you already love your embossing powders, maybe you're doing this or the other in a crafty way, and you just happen to flick across to our channel this morning, sometimes you think you toy with the idea of jewellery making well do you know what a lot of our a lot of our mediums actually you can use together it doesn't always have to be about jewellery we'll speak to Liz about that as well very <laughs> soon it's all about mixed medias at the moment isn't it now you are getting and I'm totally going to open these because I am the bottom end I think there it is there it is <laughs> yeah if I do it in a neat way Cass can put it back together again there we are. And you know that cloud clay is coming out. <laughs> I love that stuff, it smells so good. Now, you have got, now you can use these in quite a, a few different ways. You can ooze. Uh, and is this what we're going to see later? We're going to oozing. do some oozing. Yes, yes. We have done some oozing in the past, but we're going to do it differently today. Oh, because I've done oozing with yes, you before, haven't yes. I? So we're going to do a different way of using. Now you can use these sheets in lots of different ways. People use them in paper craft. They're wonderfully iridescent. You've got the lots of different shapes and the different shapes are there for a reason so that you can ooze. You can also use these with polymer clay to create pattern. So you've got two of those sheets. If you've never heard of it, I did your accent then. If you've never heard, hey, these are new. Yes, they are. I've not seen those before. They've got little butterflies, where the sequin butterflies that have been taken out. Oh, yeah, they're really lovely. 
I love it. I love it when I see something I'm not <laughs> expecting. I'm that kind of, look, oh, these are so pretty. I've never seen these. I'd love to use these to make a lovely imprint. Yes. <gasps> Aren't they pretty? And you can see already, if you're crafty, you're thinking, I need those for this project or that project. You know, I, I think there's a lot you can do with these. And then, so you've got all these different, you get two of those, all these different oozing sheets, which I'm going to talk to you about momentarily. Please don't worry, Liz is going to be doing a demonstration. Oh, bless you, you've got the cloud clay out for me. <laughs> Doesn't it smell amazing? How long have you been uh, playing with your cloud clay for? She just got it out the drawer. Does it, actually, does it stay moist then? Like it, this? If, as long as you wrap it really, really tightly in um, cling film and then in an uh, airtight bag, yeah. it will stay moist for, for months because I've got stuff that I haven't used for, for months and it's still perfect. <laughs> but you do have to wrap it really tightly because any air at it will make it start to harden. Because this is what it's, it has started hardening this yeah, one. That's why it's I said to Cass. Air drying clay. Because it does dry like kind of like lava rock, actually, yes, doesn't it? It's fantastic. But if you want to ooze it, it's happening. Cass, I'm going to do it. She's going, oh, no, don't open it. <laughs> Cass, you wait till you smell this and you'll be so glad I and did it's open so, it. It's, it's much smoother and easier to work when it's brand Yeah, because it, now it feels like, could I make it, um, can I put some water on it to make it go? Not really, actually. When cloud clay's gone, you can dampen it a little if you want to stick things together. Okay. Um, but it tends to make it just a bit slimy if you're not careful. Now you can use this for moulds yes, when you dry it out. You can. You can make your own mould. So if you find something you want to make an impression of, it's very easy to make your own moulds. And does it, will it stay heat proof against the uh, friendly plastic and against the... With friendly plastic it will, but not jewel enamels. It will tend to stick a little to the jewel enamels. You can make rubber stamps out of it as well, you know, your own stamps, texture stamps, which is a fun thing to do with the kids. My kids love yes. this, just doing this. Yeah. It is <laughs> it's great, I love it, and it's just the smell, it smells yes. like baby wipes. You can roll anyway. it really thinly, you can sew into it, you can colour it with mica powders. When you sew it, you're saying you're sewing into it and then you'd leave it to dry, would Yes, you? or you roll, some, roll it out, stamp into it or create a texture and apply it to some fabric and then you can stitch straight into it with a machine or by hand. I've just put my <laughs> butterflies <laughs> on mine. Can you see that? Look how cool it is. Can you, isn't it cool? So can you imagine that on your polymer clay? That's, it's great to just show you the, um, the, the little butterflies because you could do that on your polymer clay. You could do that on your friendly plastic. Isn't it great? I love those butterflies. Have a good old play with those today. Now, let's give you a rundown of everything that you are getting with the kit while I play with, <laughs> with my cloud clay, which is just ace. So you have got your friendly plastic strips, your cloud clay, which I, can, I cannot recommend enough. You have got your oozing sheets mm -hmm. and you have got your friendly plastic DVD. How many projects are on the friendly plastic DVD list? Do you remember? Oh, golly. Um, do you know? I can't remember. I there's think six, it's six. Six, yes, called. yes. And they're quite in-depth and there's a whole gallery of, um, of inspiration as well and little flash, flying up bits that remind you of critical things to remember, like getting the temperature right. So don't uh -huh. overheat it and uh, things like that. Little tips that help you over uh, issues that might happen before you even know that you're going to find an issue. Yes, and so. actually that's very important. And these DVDs I think are so descriptive. And I'm working obviously with Liz, this is the cloud clay, working with Liz to create pieces of jewelry like this. How fabulous, how fabulous. Uh, okay. Gilding flakes it looks like we've used there as well. Got some gilding flakes yes. for you today. And we've got some gleam. Wow! And like I say, it's not just about jewelry. You might be seeing things here and thinking, that will look great with this project that I've got going on the go. It could be that you're sewing things into cushions. It could be that you're doing this, that, or the other in the home. You can, of course, mix up your crafty ways. Now, this is a brand new medium if you've not got this or used it. It's a brand new medium for you to introduce to your jewelry making or to your crafty table. Now, most mostly when we're bringing you a brand new medium they can be expensive especially when they create so many mind-blowing pieces just like Liz is going to show us later on well in momentarity momentarity that's a new word <laughs> limited stock on this I'm so excited I just want to get over there are you ready it's like Christmas Eve to me it's, it's so exciting all these wonderful colors the DVD is step by step don't forget you've got an extended money-back guarantee on everything that you buy from us here today and on the run-up to Christmas here at Jewelry Maker from now until the 31st of January 
Next. Yeah. It's as mad as a box of snakes. So 800 644 655 or the W's. Dot .jewelrymaker.com. EVG C21 is your item code. And $24.95 is the wee price that you are paying. Anywhere with change under 30 quid is incredible. This stretches so, so far. Now, Liz, if I'm getting this friendly plastic, am I going to need to add anything? Do I absolutely need a melting pot? Can I use a pan of warm water? Yes, you don't. Really, all you need is the friendly plastic and some knowledge. And then you can just improvise with so many things. And that's what you're getting, exactly that. <laughs> I've got the knowledge, which is, there's not many. There's not, this is knowledge in my hand right here. It's not up here. I'll tell you that, it's in here. Uh, I've got the knowledge, I've got the plastic, I've got the oozing sheets, which are just an added bonus. Yes. And as if I can keep my hands off that gorgeous clay that just smells amazing. Have a sniff of this, Cass. I'm gonna chuck you some. Are you addicted to it too? Yeah. Have you had a smell? Are you ready, can you catch? <laughs> Good Hooray! catch, give me a sniff. <laughs> Any it is lovely, isn't it? It? <laughs> Let's see if I can catch. <laughs> I can! Yes, I can. <laughs> I am that. I can, I can. It's like at my cousin's wedding when me and my sister rugby tackled each other to catch the bouquet. Literally, we're on the floor. I think I even took down a few toddlers on my way. Now, <laughs> make sure you are checking out baskets for this one. We are very busy this morning. Loads of you tuning in just to see Liz and be inspired. And don't forget, we will be relaying your questions to Liz later on. EVGC21 is your item code for just $24.95. I'm going to give you as much as I can before we go and see Liz. Um, so that you can get lots in your baskets ready. I'm gonna put my cloud clay back in there so that Cass can have a play. I might even wrap it up for you, Cass. I won't take too long now. Oh, all right, I won't bother. No, <laughs> there we are, there we are, there we are. Right, now, let's give you some gemstones to go with because, you know, we talk about um, mixed mediums, we talk about how it doesn't have to be for jewellery making, but let's face it, we're all blinking addicted to jewellery making, aren't we? Have a look at these. I've not seen this strand and I love it. We need this one, look. How gorgeous are these colours go? Do you ever get it as well when you're, you're, you're creating something, you just think, what colours go together? Why have I lost my mind? You know, these, <laughs> I get it all the time, oh, as you can probably imagine. Why have I lost my mind? Well, for several reasons, my brain says. Now, you've got the black and the burnt orange together here. I re What's that reminding me of? I love it. Reminds me of something. It'll come to me, it'll come to me. I love that. It's almost like a, r a runny honey sort of orange. Really, really deep blood oranges, yeah. That's what it's like. And then to have the contrast of the black, and actually some of these, you have a look at these ones here, they've got banding in them and it's smoky. So you could do a lovely color blend with these. You could do an amazing, I'd start off with a really, really bold black ones. And I would go towards, I'd pick out as many of the sort of m marbled ones with the, with the smoking bleeding through into the blood orange color. And then I'd go striking orange. Look, if you look at these, I mean, that, that's a really striking orange there. So I'm sure if Mark Smith's watching right now, he's thinking, I'm color blending with that. There aren't many opportunities with these colors to do a color blend either, are there? So hop on board for this. Oh, that's not everything for the price. What, you get three? Oh my gosh, look at what else you get. I thought I'd pick those out because I jumbled it up, but no. You've got your agate, you've got your citrine. I do think these, isn't that a bright color now? Isn't that wonderfully mm. bright and sunny? I do think these citrine are wonderful because of the clarity and because of the shape. I like to see that shape in earrings. And then I'm gonna give you some amazing obsidian. I always think obsidian is really underrated because we can't show you on screen how fascinating obsidian is. And when you move it, it's like almost like black moonstone. It has this wonderful inner sparkle, inner iridescence. It, it, it does actually, when you start working with it, become quite mesmerizing, quite intoxicating. You, you look at it and you just think, and it's so hard to show you on screen, I'm hoping. If you look at the one by my nail, you'll see what I mean. Can you see that? Now, if we're seeing that in the studio, when you get it home, you will see so much more. It is gold leaf. It is almost like gold leaf. It's, it's almost like a fairy tale, isn't it? Looking into a crystal ball. It's, it, there's something very magical about obsidian. I, oh, well, I think there is. Now, this is called the Dream Trio, LPGC05. 
is your item code. Are you ready for another amazing deal today? 60 carats in that citrine. The quality is incredible. Those are nine by six. Your agate, those gorgeous plain mounds that you are so gonna do that color graduation, I'm sure. 10 mil those are, and you've got six mil obsidian plain mounds as well. So you've got, the, in, in the obsidian six mil rounds, if you are doing soutache, um, after yesterday's show in particular, I'm sure, if you're inspired by Linda, then absolutely six mil rounds are perfect. Six mil rounds are great for beady beads. We, we all, do you know, do you know what? Our six mil rounds are one of the biggest sellers because there's so much you can do with it. Well, they're your best friend as a jewelry maker, aren't they? They're your stretchy bracelet, they're your beady beads, they're your spacers, they're great for your be beaded chains. You know, there's so much you can do with a six mil round. LPG C05 is your item code. If you're shopping with us today, as always, my darlings, there's one or two ways you can do it. On the phone lines number on your screen for you, or all those W's.jurymaker.com if you're gonna get webular with us this morning. We're going to give you a trio of gorgeousness. You're not going to believe this price tag for just obsidian, citrine. These amazing, I honestly to God thought that the price tag was £9.95 for that wonderful orange and black agate because I've never seen that strand. I thought it was new. £9.95. 0800 triple four six double five. Use your debit card or your credit card. Oh, don't forget as well that extended money back guarantee. From now until the 31st of January 2014. I can't even believe it's going to be Christmas, let alone 2014. Is that a madness? What happened this year? What happened? I can actually remember what I was doing this time last year. It only feels like yesterday. It's crazy. Don't you think this year's gone yes. like somebody set fire yes. to the year? <laughs> but if you if it's uh, been a good year and you've had fun, then it goes fast. If it's been a miserable year, it takes forever to go. I guess you're right. Yeah. Maybe it's been a fun year. Then. Yeah. It's been a busy year. Yes. Which can be good fun in itself. It is. <laughs> Yesterday we chased the pig around the street four times. <laughs> He's Houdini. <laughs> We've got electric tape, everything. He's still getting out. What sort of pig? He's a, he's a miniature pot belly pig, but I think he's looking for a lady pig because oh. he's got to adolescence and he is like literally, I'm going to find myself a lady pig. <laughs> and he's out there. He doesn't care who gets in his way. He really doesn't. Have no. you thought of ma matchmaking him with another? Well, I have suggested to my partner that we get another pig which went down like an actual lead balloon. <laughs> He said, I've just been chasing this pig all day long. He's got the worst back in the world and he literally hates me at the moment because of this pig. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're going to give to you heat gun and heat mat. Now, this heat mat actually can cut up as well if you want to. Now, this is pretty essential, actually, if you're working with friendly plastic to protect your surfaces, isn't it? Liz? And with jewel enamels, and it's great with polymer clay. It's just a really useful, easy, clean, non stick work mat, and it's yeah. a good size. And you can put these on your work surfaces yes. so when you put your pans down, like yeah, I do. It's really good. Don't get those rings, because you get into <laughs> trouble for that. Now, um, you, can, you can cut this up if you're doing you working can. with little yes. projects. And actually, if you are working with um, precious metal clays, Liz, this is great as well, because I've yes. seen Atalia use these. Yes. Well, it's really smooth. That's the nice thing. It doesn't leave lots of impressions. Whereas yeah. if you get the cheaper stuff, um, just regular oven liner, or caked in liner or whatever, that it has a distinct texture, and That's that will pick up on any of these things. Yeah, so. it does. It has like this little sort of corrugated, and, yeah. it, and it does leave impressions. It does. Yeah. That's because, right. Uh, I've seen them in in a shop where they do lots of baking tools and mm. stuff and it is when you feel this it's very smooth and actually yes. when you touch the other stuff you can actually feel the surface of it yes. it is very smooth actually it's got a, a shinier surface on the other side as well <laughs> and it doesn't matter use yours for your cakes do you Kirsty now have a look so you've got a big sheet of that do you know what the dimensions of the oh I do I do I do 500 by 400 millimeters so that's big isn't it now if you are working with, it doesn't have to be just friendly plastic, it doesn't have to be jewel and, just jewel and animal, could be polymer clay, could be even your resins, just to have something that protects the surface. Uh, now, I'm gonna give you the two speed heat gun as well. Oh, oh, this is great as well if you're using your shrink plastic, and so is the heat gun. 
back for your for the heat gun you need the shrink pla for the shrink plastic don't you? You do really yes you can do uh, the shrink plastic in the oven actually but it's more difficult to control what you're doing. Oh crikey it's, I do find it life in life it's difficult to control what I'm doing so I won't make my life <laughs> even harder. Now the heat gun are we using for which medium here today Liz? Uh, we can use it for both actually but primarily we're going to use it with friendly plastic but no actually we're going to be using it for both because we've got we've got some fantastic detailing enamel to show you later so <laughs> I'm very excited and we will about be that. using the heat gun for that okay so this is I'd grab it now while you can and I do think comparatively our heat guns are a very very low price great value tool I've seen these elsewhere I'm sure if you went to the NEC this week you'll have seen the heat guns uh, popping out for quite large price tags mm. in comparison to what we're doing them uh, for now Liz you've used this uh, many times talking about the quality of our heat gun. I like this heat gun because it packs to this size aha and that's important yeah well for carrying around when you're off to classes and things and when you put it down it's actually really quite handy um, because you haven't got everything sticking out but because it goes like that it means it's very ergonomically designed for, for heating with whereas a lot of the heat guns are vertical are they really? you know, yes and they're awkward to hold and to put down so they're just not ergonomically as well designed so, so these are good you're an expert you have your own dvd would you recommend our heat gun over anybody else's for certain things yes it has a really it, because it's got a pointy end as well rather than the big open end it's great for getting into specific places and it has two speeds so it's wonderful so it is a little blowy, but no more blowy than most of the other heat guns out there. Okay. Well, so. it needs to be blowy, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> UQG C16 is your item code. You're getting the heat gun and the mat for just 19.95, which change <laughs> under 20 pounds when you can use a tool in lots of different genres of your jewelry making lots of different ways for lots of different things is a great price tag what have you seen heat guns out there for let us know 60777 jm studio followed by your message on the website ours is 14 pounds and 95 pence the mat is 9.95 so the value you're getting today you're making a really good cheeky saving aren't you we want you to start these brand new mediums to, because it will make you smile and it's going to be so wonderful creating christmas decorations if you've done all your christmas jewelry you're thinking right now it's me time then this is a great one for you at 19 pounds 95 pence you've got your extended money back guarantee as well from now until the 31st of january next year which is fabulous now, before I go over, I'm literally itching to trot. I'm like, a, I'm like an excited pony. Now, <laughs> I am going to give you a little refresher on our toggle clasp deal, because a, a lot of you out there are saying, are they still available? Not in that voice, that was my voice, but... <laughs> I have got, look how many, you get 100 pairs. So I'm gonna give you a quick last chance with these now what percentage went of these Kirsty? because we we're really busy this morning with this deal oh over half of the stock of these have already gone are you ready it's not 1990 it is 1995 it is 1995 hqgp92 is your item code this was your early bird you've got the t-bar clasps and you have got the uh the fasteners the little hoopies which look great in earrings as well they're great either way up now could I you can actually use these and fill them with friendly plastic couldn't you or jewel enamels or jewel enamels mm -hmm. so I like the way that um, us crafty folk it might be called something but that doesn't stop us no. from using yeah. it in other ways does it <laughs> well why not make the most of what you've got and, and um, cross fertilize as I say use it in lots of different ways <laughs> Cross fertilizer. Yes. I think I should wear a T-shirt that says that. What do you <laughs> well, think? It, if you do so, you all sorts of new things blossom. <laughs> <laughs> I like that terminology. It's going to be my new phrase. <laughs> Let's cross fertilize today. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Nineteen pounds and ninety-five pence is your price tag for one hundred pairs, which is excellent. Now. I am going to give to you. Should we go over to Liz? Are we going over to Liz yet? Let's go over to Liz. She says, I suppose you are, because I'm like, can we go to Liz? Can we go to Liz? Can we go to Liz? Right, now, you need to make sure, set your, your TV to record, perhaps. 
that you are sending through your text messages as soon as you can for us to relay to Liz. I'm going to give you your friendly plastic uh, details for your starter kit uh, so that you can grab that now. Don't forget you got your clay, your oozing sheets, you got your friendly plastic, 10 different colours and you got your wonderful cloud clay as well and all for a very, very good price tag of just £24.95. I'm going to take my tea over with me, although I don't think I'm going to get time to drink it because I'm going to be far too excited. <laughs> now, uh, Liz is about to show us and take us through all of those different techniques, which mean that you are going to learn a brand new medium today. Let's check out <laughs> the sorts of designs that you can expect to make. Oh, my goodness. Now, is this all friendly plastic? Yes, it is. All of that's friendly plastic. And <gasps> this is the one we're going to do, but that's it. <laughs> I want to show everybody yeah, because you show I think, you know what, you look at a medium like this and you think, right, okay, friendly plastic. What can I make out of friendly plastic? Believe me, the possibilities are endless and it's called friendly plastic for a reason. You think about melting plastic, you think don't touch, you think it's going to hurt. <laughs> it's not it's, like that. You know, it's not like that. Lukish Luke, warm water in a pan and will heat this up and make it um, malleable. You can manipulate it. You can use your heat gun to blend it a little bit further. I mean, have a look at this. Creating shape. That's very free form. That's Amazing. I use this twisted wire there. But the, I use the um, laser mesh in your packs to actually get texture on the friendly plastic. And I've used the offcuts from cutting circles out to lay over the top. So this is what we're talking about with those yes. texture sheets. That's why they're fantastic. Yes. And um, and with the texture sheets, they won't stick. Um, to the medium, uh, they, unless they, we want them to? No, you see, really the other way around, you have to work at them not sticking. It's different with polymer okay. clay, but with, when, you, when you want to do something like that with friendly plastic, you need to put some Vaseline on the, the uh -huh. um, laser mesh before you put it on so that it will come away again. Otherwise it will stick, because this is basically a form of plastic. Oh, and see. it will stick yeah. to friendly okay, plastic. Okay, you'll try and melt in, Yes. <laughs> and look at this. Again, was this using the texture sheets, Liz? That was using the, the laser mesh, and I also used some net underneath, so I've got a double ooze happening there. Ooh. So it makes it look like it's really beaded. It, it's so shiny. <laughs> That's the, the, there is the laser mesh that you can see, but you would never know. Because when you look at this, you always, you always know what it is. When it's been chopped up and put in things, it's always obvious what it is, but not when you do this, when not when you ooze. And you can see that silver. Oh, oh, Kirsty's just saying, they look like the bolly beads we used to do. <laughs> Karen Hill try. I, I didn't see those. Now have a look at this cuff brace. And this is all friendly plastic. I thought yes. it was metal. No, just it's touched it plastic. and it was so much more lightweight. <laughs> How but fabulous. Now I have been asked um, pe to show people how to do a cuff. Now I can't really do that in a morning show demonstration, but after Christmas I'm going to be doing the designer inspirations and we can do a cuff then. So. Good, excellent. <laughs> and you've got, and this is the one you're going to be we're doing going to, Yes, we're going to do, uh, show you how to do that because I want to show you how to use the melting pot slightly differently to the way we might have done before. Okay, but just to relay to everybody, you can use a pan. You can use a pan, you could use a, a griddle, you could use a heavy based frying pan for the, what we're doing net now, out dry and just use your sheets what? inside, yes. Without watering? We're not going to use water today, although we do most, uh, uh, most yeah. frequently, but today we're not going to use water. Do I get a different look from not using water? Um, you're using it because you're doing different, slightly different techniques. Okay, okay. so I can do some. I can do different things yes. by heating it up in different ways. Yes, absolutely. Oh. And by having hot water and the dry heat of a heat gun or the melting pot or griddle or oven, then it expands the possibilities hugely. I do <laughs> like the sound of that. So, Liz, where? Do we start? Right. I just wanted to show you that little bit that I did with the butterfly. Oh, oh. So, <laughs> how pretty! And just a quick and you, and it's so What colour did you use as the, the background? That was actually the turquoise, um, which I'm. I think that you will be getting in very soon. If I tilt it, can you see the? We got it today, actually. I'm Have just we got some turquoise in? in? Oh, fantastic! On. And it's a lovely colour. So that was just oozing with the the little butterfly um, laser mesh. Wow! In the pack. It looks purple on the screen. It in does. The it's, it, it? Yes. It's wonderful. It's, it's got this lovely iridescence to it, hasn't it? It has. Yes. It's sort of bluey, bluey mauve. Yeah. But what we're going to do now is we're going to talk about how to do this one. Okay. 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 Um, it's a bracelet, obviously, but we're going to do it in segments, which will make it easier for people to to work with. Okay. Right. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some shapes from this piece of friendly plastic. Um, and I'm going to heat that. I'm going to heat this one with a heat gun. We'll look at the different ways of doing this. Okay. So you're heating with heat gun at the moment, but there are other ways. And we yes. will obviously touch on those later on in the show today. So make sure you're getting 
everything down, everything we've got. It will go on YouTube afterwards, so don't panic if you haven't got a record button on your TV. Well, you can put this in the melting pot on one of the little project sheets. Okay. Um, to melt, but um, we'll do that in a second. But this one, we're just going to use the heat gun because this is what most people will do. Probably, it's the quickest and easiest thing to do. But we're heating from the top. Um, whereas with the melting pot or a griddle, you're heating from the bottom. Is the final finish the same? Nearly, yes. Okay. For this purpose, it will be exactly the same. Okay. But for some things, not quite the same. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> she's a riddler. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I've got a circle cutter, and I'm just going to dip it in a pot of cold water, which I have here. Um, Why are you doing that? Liz? Just so that it doesn't stick. Oh, okay. Because okay. it's already warm, and it'll. Yes. Okay, that makes sense. And I'll make I'll, as I've got some. Uh, space I'll make a couple of them um, that now has, has been cut through and I'm just going to put it into the cold water if I drag the cold water a little closer to me then you'll see it just goes into the cold water and does that harden the friendly plastic it hardens it really quickly um, and if it's not if your water isn't cold enough just stick a bit of ice in there and it'll make it go cold really oh. quickly but you, you know the freeform necklace there the pendant yeah. that um, you really do want cold water for because as soon as you've shaped it you want to plunge it into cold water so it holds its it shape it holds its shape it otherwise it will instantly. collapse won't yes it, it yeah. sort of softens so if you can see oh look that one I didn't quite cut fully but that one I have okay and what see. happens in that instance would you take a scalpel to it or um, will it still punch through or you can use your through? scissors for the oh, last bit yeah it. for most of it or just or you can if you want to practice you just um, you heat it again but I think it's easier just for this to snip it out okay so I've now got those two let's move that out of the way okay, okay. and I need to keep things dry this is where we're going to use um, the melting pot okay so you're drying that and that's important because you want to stick something else on top of it uh, yes I, if you have water underneath your uh, friendly plastic when you heat it it will bubble okay so you definitely don't want that and what I've got here which I believe Ooh. is coming on so Kirsty tells me okay. <laughs> we are going to have these I hope We've got them here. Yeah, hey. <laughs> Kirsty. These are little project sheets that fit the melting pot. <laughs> Hooray, because that means that I can use my melting pot in every different way. If yes. I'm putting my mica powders in there, <laughs> I can have two different lots. You or can. Two different mediums on the go. This is wonderful, yeah. Kirsty. How many times have we been scraping things I'm out in our melting something. pot? These are wonderful little inserts. They are really useful. And they've got oh. little handles. That's so nice. Easy. I'm, what I'm going to do, this is just a... Uh, Rose catalogue. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> I just want to uh, level this up a little. Okay, so you want it to, to have a tilt? Um, well, it, it automatically has a tilt to the back for jewel oh, enamels. I see. And I would prefer it if it was a little more level. So okay. it would have been better if I think if I'd jacked it up slight, slightly more. But heck, that will do. Okay, I'm going to put one of these in here, which has to be dry. And this is warming up now. To oh, which yes. temperature? Have you gone up to the highest? No, I haven't. Um, you can go up to sort of 120, 140 is good. That the sliding scale on here does not accurately reflect the temperature in the pot. Oh, how do we know? Have you tried it with a yeah. thermometer? <laughs> because if I set it at between 60 to 70, which is where the friendly plastic um, softens at 60 to 70 degrees centigrade, it won't soften. It's not oh, warm I enough. So you funny? need to slide it up. So somewhere around 120 is fine. Okay, do you think that's because you haven't got the lid on it, maybe? Or is it because. No, I think it just. It just it's wasn't not as naughty. Yes, it isn't. Okay. They're never quite. They're perfect for for uh, softening the jewel enamels if you jack it right up to the other yeah, end. Yeah. But at the so bottom end of the it scale, with our, yes. um, our But at the bottom end of the scale, I don't think it's quite as accurate as that. Okay. Now, out of uh, some burnt orange, I've cut some other circles. Okay. Do you keep the uh, the little templates that oh, you've I got save there? Those. Yes, we yeah, because I just looked at that and thought yeah. I quite like that. Well, it was a bit of it was actually it was a bit of this that I laid on top of the piece at the end. The wiggly woo. Yes, and uh, it, you just you can just reuse it. So I'm just going to put this on here. Oh, not in the middle. I should have put it on first and then put the whole thing. Oh, in. but I quite like it when it's a little <laughs> quirkly offset. Is, right now that looks red, but on here this is very orange. Uh, Does this it is a, yes, because I didn't have any of that. Right. It okay. I was just wondering yes. whether the colours change. That's yes. all fine. And also, it's much clearer for you to see here if I've got very distinctly different contrasts. Absolutely. That's really why. So what I've got also here is the. I don't think I need to do it. That way, is the laser mesh, and I'm just going to cut a bit of it because we're going to do a partial ooze. Does that make it easier to handle when it's... because you don't want to be putting a whole sheet in? And well, exactly, and I really only want a little bit, so I'm just trimming off the spiky bits on the edge. 
Is that so that they don't transfer onto your pattern? Um, if it's going to stay in there, but they just oh, a little yeah. trickier. Okay. Oh yeah, of course they are. Yeah, it stays in. Let me okay. lay that across. So Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Right. So as soon as that's softened, if it doesn't soften quickly enough, I mean, you could at home you can just leave it to soften. Um, but if you're impatient like Liz and yeah, I, and you want to now, now you <laughs> don't worry. You don't need the melting pot and the heat gun. They're to. not essential, <laughs> but. We're impatient girls. Yeah, it's going to make it happen faster for you. That's really it. If anybody's out there Christmas shopping, maybe for their wife who's just uh, gone to do the shopping or hasn't finished the school run, this would be a wonderful present for anybody oh, yes. who's crafty in any way, wouldn't Definitely. it? Absolutely. You know, if you left it on there for a long time, the two would just melt together and it would be completely smooth. Oh, really? Yes, it would be a bit like um, on this bracelet here. How lovely. Where you can see the, they've just completely blended into each other. Okay. Does that there she is. Too? She's a good one. <laughs> and, and, and you've used the mesh around the edges, which is beautiful. I, have, yes. I love that purple mesh. I was hoping we were going to have some for today. We but tried, we, didn't. we tried, <laughs> we tried. Never mind, but for next time, because I've got some super sharp examples and we can combine the two things together. Next time we'll capture Hannah yeah. Oxbury and, and make I should have mentioned it to her this morning when she popped in. Oh, did she pop yeah, in? Where was I doing the makeup? Yeah, very yeah. probably. Right. OK, I'm going to take this out of here now and i just move that to one side a second. And I'm going to... Um, Oh, I'm going to leave that to cool a second, actually. Let me feel that, is it? Oh, no, it's, it's fine. So oh, when okay. I, I can handle it fine when I take it You out. can, you can. I do like those little inserts. <laughs> they are really handy. I've only got oh, the one. Super. So I've only got the one here with me. But what I'm going to do now, this is going to be the base behind. And I'm going to make this big again so you can see it. OK. So this we could, eat, we could eat in there. In fact, let's do that. I'm going to put it back in the pot over there and then we'll work on the other piece so this now you're putting the heat mat piece and you've cut a piece out of the heat mat there. I have yes. and this is great because it means that you can cool that one and, and if you working. had lots of different inserts this way those inserts are wonderful it and is. then you could work with mica powders as well without yeah. worrying about oh, having to fantastic to um to clean it all out yes things. I'm going to put this in the the cold Ooh, water just okay, to yeah. cool it off a bit makes it quicker doesn't it oh yes that was not quick enough it, it went <laughs> hot it went really hot then. yes so that'll take it. You can actually see that. Can, can you, you see no, that? No, you're in there? using your fingers there quite a lot. You're getting oh. in there, and that's okay. Well, with the, the Teflon sheet, it protects your fingers a little. It's not as hot as it would be with jewel enamels. You're right up at the top end, and you haven't got the Teflon sheet in there, okay. and it's very, very hot. I'm not going to lay my fingers on there for any length of time. Okay. okay. But it does make it. So don't go sticking your fingers in there, thinking, <laughs> "Yeah, well, it would be a little bit like uh, tapping an iron." Yes, not a good would. idea. But we've all done it. Okay. Right. What I really want to do is because I'm going to ooze. I'm going to put this on aluminum foil okay aluminum any any kitchen foil yeah yeah it's better if it's good strong aluminium foil okay we'll we'll type your rapid turkey in yes <laughs> yes absolutely <laughs> again we could put this in there and soften it but I want that to be soft as well as this okay okay so we're gonna heat this up in fact really what I should have done is is put that piece on this and did and put this piece in there on the aluminium foil and that would have made it quicker for you but but hey heck it's first thing in the morning yeah, right <laughs> and anyway everyone does things do you know what we're doing it how everybody else would do it yeah at home, so that's that's the way it goes you know it's soft if it bends and, and sometimes that's what you want if you bend it and then it dries you can have it domed you know oh, how yeah. you with the, with this because you've domed it around something have you yeah you shape it i shaped yeah. it around it's a rolling pin yeah i'm just going to heat that Perfect. a bit more <laughs> yes. Now, actually, with that said, we've been talking about how we we can use pans and things. Can I then go on to use those pans for cooking, or should I leave yes, them aside? Yes, you, you can. But if you you really get into friendly plastic, and then you'll just want a dedicated pan. Okay, fine. So I've got lots of pans that I thought I could combine them, but they've never ever got further than the studio or the classroom. <laughs> Good. Okay. Well, okay. It, but it doesn't matter. It's not toxic. No, it's not toxic. Anything. It's chewy, but not toxic. Chewy, not toxic. But don't chew yeah. it. Or do. <laughs> the dog does. When she was a puppy, she did. Oh. Look, we're talking so much. This is probably going to go hard. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What I'm doing is I'm going to place this over the top, and I'm going to push up from underneath. <gasps> And watch it oozing. This is why it's called the ooze, ooze technique. technique. Just watch that oozing through. Isn't it fabulous? It oozes up all through the holes. And what I do with sequin waste in particular, this laser mesh, I press down as well. Can you see? Oh, sorry, yeah. I need to be able to see what I'm... I'm so sorry. It's so tricky, It isn't is. It? Doing everything at arm's length and being short-sighted. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, it's but you, you need to see what you're doing. You don't need to see yeah. the top of my head. OK, so that's in there. And I'm going to now. Um, fabulous. Uh, I'm going to cool that in cold water, and so then we're cool. going to put it in to this piece. Okay. Okay. So, so it's in it goes. the cold water. 
Right, now that's been heating for a while now. It has, and it's chit-chatting. It's beautifully okay? soft. Look at that. Just you how can, you want it. Can you tell the difference? But you can see yeah, the it difference. It looks like melted chocolate yes. when, you, when you melt chocolate, but it's yeah. not lost its shape. Yes, absolutely <gasps> does. That's true. I love, oh, that makes me <laughs> want that. I always put chocolate in the microwave because my policy is if I put a whole chocolate bar in there, it's going to be more sickly than if it was really, really cold. So I'll eat less of it. Oh, well, that's a good plan. Indeed. <laughs> does, does it, it work? work? No. <laughs> no, actually it does, because I'm like, oh, no, I feel really ill. Oh, I dear. wish I hadn't done that. Whereas before, if I'd have eaten it out of the fridge, I'd have been like, more. <laughs> <laughs> OK. So there we've got that little piece there, and you can put it in any which way you like. Oh, fantastic. We'll put it across and you've just cut that with regular scissors, haven't you? The, the square, square behind, yes, I have. You could be fancy, and you can use the square Ooh, cutters and Pushing things. down on that, and you're not worried about it losing its form? Uh, no, because that was hard. Yeah. Because I wasn't just trying to put it in A couple of seconds in that cold water, and it's hard. Yes, it has. And uh, underneath now is nice and soft, which means that you can push this in. And Isn't this wonderful? Okay. And you're just moving that around. Cheers. And what you can do at this stage, if you, you're very confident, is you can use something like an embossing tool or your needle tool Oops, okay. Okay. Um, to make some holes in if you want. I actually use, for this one, I used a, a leather punch. That oh, I so you, to and have. you use that afterwards? Yes, did you? afterwards okay. when it was cold and hard. But what you could do is you could just do little holes like that. Oh my gosh. I don't feel like that. So you're saying to, you're feeling confident, but actually. You've got to make sure that they're going to match up. That was all. So you see, I've managed oh, to make because otherwise it'd be wiggly woo. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah wiggly -wiggly. Okay. Whereas if if you punch it later, you've got the chance to mark it. Yes, exactly, okay. and also decide what's going next to each other. Well, that's very planned ahead of you for with well, thinking of Well, this is the thing. You when you it's all right doing one sample, but when you're doing a project Loads. like a bracelet, you do have to think a little bit because if you're anything like me, you're not very accurate at these things. So I've got those those little holes, slightly different spaces, which would mean that you know when you put the next one up, they, they've got to match. Yeah. Haven't they? Yeah, well, absolutely. Otherwise, it won't sit right, yes. will it? Yes. Okay. So then you wouldn't have any choice about how you designed your bracelet <laughs> because it would have to go where the only place it could go rather than where you wanted it to go. So if you've got a hole punch, great. Otherwise, try and be as precise as you can. Yes. You could perhaps do it next to a ruler if it's still yes. if it's still soft. Yeah. And that that you, might give you, you the could. indication. You, you can also just use, depending on the, the, the fixing that you're going to use to join the, the pieces together, because um, these are quite chunky, you could just use your needle tool and push your needle tool through your plastic oh, um, right. at the, when it's cold and hard. If what about to. reaming it? Would I um, it? Or yeah, could you I could, but Dremel? Dremel is brilliant. The, the uh, drilling is is the perfect thing to do. Dremel's my favourite. I love them. Yes, but not everybody's got them, so I they're lots they're of expensive, but they yeah. are, We're all obsessed with the Dremel. Yes, here. it's <laughs> worth the investment. Isn't the, it? They're fantastic, very versatile. So you just then make a whole heap of those and join them together. Fantastic. <laughs> so this is the first part of oozing that we've seen. Now the uh, uh, details on your screen are for your starter kit with your friendly plastic and include 10, uh, the bottom uh, details for the heat mat deal as well, 10 colours, you've got your oozing sheets, you've got your cloud clay and you've got your friendly plastic. Let us know how you're getting on with yours. We are filtering through your text messages right now and we will be relaying Liz um, the questions that you have sent in. It's so lovely of you to be so interactive today. Don't forget to tweet us. We are at jewellery underscore maker. Or you can get involved via the uh, face of book. Mm -hmm. Click to like <laughs> our Facebook page. And we'll read all those comments on there. And you know what? Don't forget us once you've got your friendly plastic kit. <laughs> when you have got it all home and you start to create right from the very beginning, we want to see what your wonderful creative mind <laughs> has put together, whether it's jewellery or something else, yes. else crafty. And that's where Liz and I are going to go right now over to check out your designs on the Wall of Fame. <coughs> Going, it's going. We've got a drunk Christmas tree. It's just Liz and I were stood here and was like, A very affectionate Christmas tree, perhaps. It is, it is lovely. We're not Mr. Tumnus. <laughs> no. Uh, we have got some beautiful pieces. This is wonderful. Oh, I like I that. I think that's tiger. Look how glossy That is gorgeous. It is. I'd wear that most definitely. I really like that. I think it's beautiful. Is that, that Colin McClay, do you think? Well, I, no, this is one of our beads. Oh, is it? Gold beads. 
This looks like Tiger's Eye, but it's so mm. glossy it could be pollen. Let's have a look. Number 137 is from Margaret in very murky, drizzly jersey. Oh, Margaret. <laughs> Margaret says, this week's entry is a necklace made from twisted columns of Tiger's Eye. I can't believe how glossy they are. They're gorgeous. Few um, accent beads and toggle clasps. Uh, Gold-plated. The pendant is one of jewellery makers' donut disc beads, which just seem to sit right into the design. The Tiger's Eye are from JM Bead Scoops, and it was the first item to sell at my first craft fair last Saturday. Woohoo! <sighs> it was bought as a Christmas present, and the customer was over the moon with it. Makes it all worthwhile. I always say that. Get selling your pieces. Oh, it's yes. wonderful. It's great boost to the ego. Yeah, do you know what? Yeah. And, and that's what it's all about, yes. isn't it? Feeling Sharing confident as well. Feeling confident mm. in what you do, and you get that when people want to buy what you make. I think so. Yeah. I think so. It's, it must be wonderful. Uh, <laughs> thanks as always to the crew loving the designer inspiration shows in the afternoon. From Margaret in murky, drizzly Jersey. Now, Margaret, you're number 137. Thank you so much. I have 138, and this is beautiful. This is from... Oh. Uh, <laughs> wow, I had one of these little shells growing up. Uh, it's a conch shell, isn't yeah, it? Is that what it is? I remember always so, having it. Yes. My grand used to have uh. it. My sit there and listen to it. This is from Helen in Dorset, and she says, "Hi everyone at JM. This is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. As you can see, my passion at the moment is wire work. Mm. I've used lavender amethyst in one of the pendants, and the other is a quartz of some kind, I think. All materials were purchased from you, and I'm loving the new format to your show. The demos are fabulous." And that's from Helen in Dorset. Dorset? I yeah. love Dorset. I love Dorset. <laughs> you did Dorset accent. I, well, I'm, I've got a Gloucester accent, so it's easy to do a Dorset yeah. one. <laughs> now, look at the. Ah. I, I'm thinking this is suede, and I love it. I think these are wonderful. And definitely looks like somebody's at a craft fair here. Yeah. Number 140 <laughs> is from Viv in London. Viv, I really love these designs. And Viv says, loving the new format. Everyone's saying that. It's so nice. Uh, I think all of the uh, new designs are doing a really great job. Here is my entry for the Wall of Fame. Tanzanite rondelles with sterling silver findings, tan leather cord, silver rounds. This is the wrong one. Hang on. This isn't the right picture, is it? Because she's here. She's got something else on there. Gold-plated silver, Jenny inspired. <laughs> well, polymer clay hearts, yes. And plastic, where does it say? Oh, polymer clay yes. hearts. I think she must have sent two separate pictures in, and uh, we've got the one. Um, the silver Janelle clasp, Jenny inspired. Where's that? I want to see it. But when I just kept calling it Janelle. <laughs> I want to see that. <laughs> and lastly, my Laura binding wire cuffs, which we don't have here, unfortunately. Everything is always from JM. I'm keeping my fingers crossed for a, a win to keep me going. My bank manager is probably not very happy. Never mind him, Viv. Never mind him. Exactly. Sure, I have his Christmas dinner. Don't worry about <laughs> my bank manager. Number 140. <laughs> and this is 139, and it's from Susie Gardner. Good morning, JMers. This is this, is this week's <gasps> Wall of Fame entry. It's my <sighs> first attempt at Laura Binding's wire wrapped pendant it was great um, to be able to watch the demo on YouTube mm. as it did require a lot of stopping and pausing but going to try some more with some of the, my own uh, with my own stamp on them it's made with pink agate from the pink Cadillac kit and fuchsia wire one millimeter and point four millimeter good luck to all this week that's lovely so Susie Susie Gosh. Gardner where's she from from Coburn's path is right wherever that is Oh that? yeah, there you go. That's yeah. like, oh, it's spelt yes. so, so a different way. <laughs> I don't know where that is. I don't know where that is either. <laughs> Look at this polymer clay. Oh, um, uh, Mark, can you do polymer clay? I'm um, just learning. I went with Debbie. Oh, really? I went with oh, Debbie on the course, and it was you so went much on fun. Holiday, didn't yes, you? it was brilliant. I learned so much, and I'm so excited. But just having the chance to play with it, that doesn't come very often. You see. Well, so. I know. I can, you're <laughs> very busy, but this is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. It's the falling leaves design. I just think it's inspired by the wonderful Lady Ox. Uh, this is number. <laughs> One for one, which is from uh, Yvonne in Pontefract, and Yvonne writes, "Hi JM, here's my entry for the Wall of Fame. I've not entered for a while, but I thought I would try again this week. I've used many colours of polymer clay, which I mixed and blended together to create many different shades uh, to put together this necklace. It's a commission piece, so I hope they like it. Do you know what? I think this is outstanding. All of the clay was bought from jewellery maker with chain from my stash. Hope it's good enough for the wall." Of course, it's yeah. absolutely <laughs> wonderful. I love these leaves, super autumnal, really, really warm. How impressive are your designs today? They're beautiful. That red wire is stunning wow, against the agate, isn't yes. it? Absolutely stunning. Yeah. <laughs>
Thank you so much for keeping on sending your pieces in. If you would like to send a special piece of your jewellery in to the Wall of Fame, please do so at any point of your jewellery making journey. We'd love to see you right mm. from the beginning uh, to, to when you get really super advanced. Uh, now it's studio at jewelrymaker.com. After the break, we've got a wonderful strand of brand new Amazonite. We've got more clay. Um, clay. Got clay on the brain now. We've got more... Um, friendly plastic pieces and we've got jewel enamel and we've got Liz's DVD don't move a muscle because it gets even more exciting after this the new year is fast approaching and we're getting ready to go out with a bang you can get involved by voting in the annual JM Awards check out Facebook from Monday the 25th of November at 10 a.m where we will release a different voting category each day until December the 6th. Get involved with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we have many stages of quality control, from lab tests all the way through to our own in-house gemologists. We're confident with our quality, but we want to give you that peace of mind by offering you a 30-day money-back guarantee. Join us on Jewelry Maker as we count down the days until Christmas. Stay tuned to see perfect Christmas gifts for all your friends and family at prices you won't believe. And what's more, anything you buy can be refunded or exchanged until the 31st of January. So for hassle-free shopping and great value, it has to be Jewelry Maker. You can now keep in touch by liking Jewelry Maker UK on Facebook. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Buying jewellery online from us has just become even easier with our new streamlined checkout service. We've made some little changes to make our website more accessible for all of the different ways you shop online. And now it's even easier using a mobile phone or tablet. Once you have added your items to your shopping basket, you can decide to check out now or save for later. Saving an item for later means you can easily find them in your own time, but don't forget to check back soon as all our items are selling fast. One of just a few changes that will make buying jewellery from us even easier. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewellery Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewellery Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewellery making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewellery making techniques. Tune into Jewellery Maker every day at 5pm for our Miss It Miss Out show, where we'll have four hours of jam-packed deals, including clearance offers, end of line, last in stock and low, low prices. The Miss It Miss Out show, only on Jewellery Maker. These graduated Amazonites are wonderfully natural looking. You can see how organic they look in the formation. Now, I love the way these are knotted together. And actually, I wouldn't, I wouldn't outrule just having a necklace like this. Look at the solidarity of the colour. And this is always a very popular gemstone, especially when you're mixing it with pinks, because it looks so vintage it's got that wonderful color if you bought the toggle clasps earlier they go beautifully together with that color don't they they just look fab now get on the phone lines quickly for these because when we've got such a graduation and these really graduate from the teeny weeny to the nice and big and i'll give you the exact dimensions in a sec the technical term is teeny weeny and nice and big right now as it stands now <laughs> Now I've got the opportunity for you to grab this brand new strand 
for a fantastic price tag. Now have a look at the yellows that you get in here. And actually again, think about the opportunity that you've got to do a color graduation. But I do like the way that these have such a wonderful graduation on them. And I do like the way that you can you can really mix that up together and you can make some lovely clusters with the with the smaller ones going towards the center if you if you like to do it that way because i quite like that look i've seen it um, actually out there in a few pieces that i've i've noticed now i'm thinking about putting these together lots of these together in one piece with wire antique wire i think would look gorgeous now these amazonites are brand new and as you can see the graduations range between six and 14 mil so actually another great one for Sutash. 14 mil is big and you've got one great big 14 mil right in the center there it could be actually that you're thinking about making twin sets it could be that you want necklace and earring um, combinations it could also be that you want a matching ring to the bracelet well i think you've got the opportunity to do that i actually think you can make you could make a lovely uh, three piece out of these too couldn't you earrings with the little ones one big pendant and then a ring out of one of the mid sizes with some wire would be gorgeous now you're always up for this wonderful gemstone that is amazonite and again i do think it has a lot to do with the fact that they look so good in vintage pieces imagine i'm just looking for some rose quartz here but unfortunately i haven't got any imagine these now i've got a very special strand actually which i i can't not show you we were going to keep it a secret but you know i'm terrible at keeping secrets labradorite bicones and i just said to kirsty i haven't got any labradorite bicones i've never seen them before aren't they wonderful i've never seen labradorite bicones i'm sure not in this perfect little size anyway now if you want these you're going to have to be quick but wouldn't they look incredible next to that labradorite it's coming up for you a little bit later on so hop on board with us today if you bought the toggle class and you've got an open basket or anything in fact already on this morning's show you won't need to pay any extra pmp it's 2.95 and then whatever else you put in your basket no matter how heavy it is even if you're going to put the melting pot in there which will make it a pretty heavy package still 2.95 so shop with ease today and with the confidence that you are getting that extended money back guarantee from now until the 31st of January 2014 KLG P21 is your item code if you're working towards your spring pieces now and so many of you are super organized I spoke to a crafter the other day that was making Easter cards I could not believe it you're so far ahead of me you're so so organized I'm well jealous 170 carats in these Amazonites I was going to count them and then I looked and I thought, I'll be here all day, brand new today, on those phone lines or on the website, jewellerymaker.com. They're only 8 95 Now, when you can make so much jewellery out of one strand, I think that that could possibly be a wonderful profit-making opportunity for you. Again, like I said, if you are multi-buying on these, it's a great idea to multi-buy one P&P, but do check out baskets if you're shopping with the sunlight, because anything you have in a basket right now is just items that you want, not items that you have, because you've got to check them out first. KLG P21 is your item code again, if you're shopping with us on YouTube, it sometimes doesn't come up the code, so there you go. Now, like I said, you have got those wonderful labradorites coming up for you momentarily. Liz, when you, if you, when, do you work often with graduated gemstones? To be honest, I work with, I like the randomness of things. I'm not a very neat and precise person, so I like things that have full of crunchy texture. So I like, I work with them, but mix them up with so many other things. So I don't do the graduation thing. I'm but so if you if you had rounds you'd mix them up with some texture i would and all the random that. shapes and things because i it just excites me more sorry that's for me if i'm making to sell it's a different matter but Aha. for my own purpose i i like them all, all you like the them place. all mixed up i do so many of us out there are are making to sell and, and actually yes. this is a good point isn't it because mm. you do have to make sure you've got a little bit of everything even if mm. they're not the things you're gonna wear definitely because i i know that my friend my best friend belinda her coloring is a million miles mm. from mine and the thing the wonderful burnt oranges and reds that she looks so great in wash me out yes. i'm I'm one that needs um, these kinds of colours in the Labradorite. I'm one that needs the softer colours because yes. otherwise I get, yeah. it's just too much. Unless I've got a really good tan or lots of makeup on. <laughs> <laughs> and let's face it, 
girls. Oh gosh, I wouldn't be let out of the house without makeup. I don't think you should have seen me this morning. Look like a little, like I'd hatched. Now I did, like a hatchling. <laughs> you I saw, saw me this morning. morning. <laughs> yeah, see, see. Uh, yeah, it was, thank God for makeup, Liz. Is all I said <laughs> when I came through. Ah, five o'clock in the morning. I had who knows jumper on. I, just, I just you saw it still today in my kitchen. I thought that looks warm uh, on it. You goes. still look lovely, Jenny. <laughs> oh, I didn't. Well, thank you. I was putting my uh, better half socks on for him at five o'clock this morning because his back had gone. Oh. And he's gone to work. Oh. Looking, he's walking like C3PO at the moment, like this to work. Now, I'm going to give it to you. Can I do? Oh my gosh! Please let me do these. Thank you so much. Now. Liz, something exciting happened when you came in a couple of weeks ago. You went into the gallery to have a little chat and you went, Woo! Tell me the story <laughs> of this little beauty right here. Well, I frequently use, as you know, the small little pieces um, of uh, the, the project, the, the craft mat basically, because it's wonderful. It makes, it speeds up the process okay. hugely. But then I saw these. They were in there and they are fantastic because they're designed to fit the melting pot. They're exactly the right shape with little little handles. And it makes it so much easier then to take things in and out without scratching anything. Um, and you get two in the pack, so you could, it makes, makes working so much faster. The, so I mean, I, I saw them for the first time today and I thought, Oh, mm. because I know so many of us want to use the melting pot, but we've got lots of things on the go. Yes. And instead of having to scrape it out to clean it out yep. if we need to, use we're it. using a medium that does need cleaning up. Because yes. I know obviously you can wait for things to dry and pick it out. But if you haven't got time for that and you really want to yes. work fast, uh, well, faster, which we all do because time is money, uh, then these are essential. So these are a must have on your wish list today. And they don't, you don't ha have any worries about burning your fingers because they've got little handles and they're little, they're perforated along the side. So it just makes it really easy to take in and out of the melting pot. Now, maybe yeah. the light bulb's going off in your mind right now if you've got your melting pot. Maybe you're <laughs> thinking, ding, I need these. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have loads. They're wiped clean. You can use them over and over mm -hmm. and over. How long would I expect these to last? This will they? Do they Years. even have a shelf? Yes. Uh, it depends how rough you are with them. I mean, until you your dog gets hold of it. Yeah, then. yeah. So <laughs> you start scratching it up with a needle tool or something. But no, they last for ages. Perfect, so, perfect little things. If I'm using embossing powders, because uh, the melting pot I've seen out there in lots of different crafty yeah. ways, there's mm. so many ways you can use yes. this. If I'm a crafter as well as a jewellery maker, and I'm thinking, right, okay, I want to I have lots on the go, because crafters are, are, are crafting all day long, mm. aren't they? And yes. it's wonderful. We're sat at <laughs> home and we're crafting and we're crafting mm. and we're crafting, we're doing this, we're doing that, we're doing the other. And, and maybe you've got your melting pot, and maybe, and if you haven't, I'm going to bring it to you later. And if you went to the NEC, I know you're thinking, need that melting pot, it is coming up for you later. These inserts are perfect. Now, they are brand new to us here on The Day Show. Uh, but I've never had them here with Liz, and they, this is the first time I've ever seen them. Liz saw them in the gallery, begged for us to put them on the show, <laughs> and we have. Now, you get a pack of two of these, and like Liz said, we can't estimate the shelf life. That's how reusable they are. We have not. Well, I'll do. I'm fanning myself with them. <laughs> They're my little ears. Now, um, I'm holding both of them up so you can see you get two, Oliver. Nah. <laughs> can I use put these in the oven just for my own? Yes, you could, yes. So if I was baking something and that I wanted, I'm really rubbish with my oven. I've got an argon. I'm really rubbish at working out <laughs> how to use it. But actually, these would slide on quite nicely. They would. You know, if you've got polymer clay and you're putting it on a tile or something to, go, to bake in the oven, um, this and it's very hot when it comes off out of the oven and to take off the, the tile this would be perfect because it's got little ears basically little handles so, so you can just zip it off yeah and pop it on a cooling mat yes or if you've got a thick metal sheet um oven baking tray thing mm -hmm. um you could put both of these down with your polymer clay pieces and pop them in the oven and take them out and it then protects the uh, piece the ovenware that you're using yes, so absolutely. that you don't have to dedicate that one yeah. piece Yes. Because you do with polymer clay. Yes, you, you do. Can't. Yeah. So it. that would protect, that would stop that from it happening, would. I'm guessing. Absolutely. It? Yeah. Oh, I bet Debbie Bolford's on the phone for these. Uh. <laughs> right, okay. These are already, half of the stock's gone on the website already. Yeah. If you are shopping on the phone lines, I'm going to give you your price. I'm so sorry. Gassing, gassing, gassing. Let me give you your, because I don't want anybody missing out on the phone lines just because you're, you don't have the internet access, perhaps. Oh, 800 I know over half of the stock has already been allocated to the web. EWPQ32, both of these heat mats for just 
eight pounds and 95 pence now when you consider that you get you can get these elsewhere perhaps well actually let's consider this can i get these elsewhere at certain prices have you ever seen these outside? i think i've only ever seen them once i can't even remember where they're not they're not a common thing to find at all so so snap them up yes, now yes yes uh, I'm just being told in my ear the Ox phone has been as 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 lit up, and uh, Lady Ox says that she can't guarantee that we're going to get these again. It took her forever to get mm. them in the first place. Eight pounds ninety five pence. E W P Q thirty two. Eight pounds and ninety five pence. The value is fantastic. I think these are ace absolutely amazing now and, and and they are perforated these edges and really easy to pick up so protect your fingers plus if you are working no oliver you can't heat up your f actually you probably could you think if you if you do the naughty thing where you eat bad things for breakfast beginning with pea pizza oliver's just saying i'm God, gonna i'm gonna get those with pea. pizza oh <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> I've never considered pizza a breakfast food, but <laughs> you've never been drunk enough the night before, then, Liz. That's your problem. <laughs> no comment. I'm not going to commit myself to this. <laughs> I bet your sons have eaten pizza for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> they will. They will at some point. Yes. We've all done it in our student life. No. Uh, yes, all right, Oliver, you can take these home for that. He's going to try it out and tell you how it went. <laughs> Eight ninety five <laughs> is your price tag. And also, if you've got, if you're working with little ones and they want mm. to take things, and yes. you know, obviously under parental supervision and all of that, I think mm. I think my daughter's the adult in our relationship. Do you know the other thing, Jenny, is that you can hold things quite steady. You know, I, if you're a bit shaky, you can create your design, your assemble your piece on there, and then carefully lift it in, which is much easier to do than if you haven't got handles. If you're just using a regular little piece of um, well, even the square. Like I mean, the squares are square. great. Yeah, and you've used them a lot. I use them all the time, but for for in and out of the melting pot. These are much, much easier, much easier. What about, Liz, if I want to make something a certain shape, if I want to bend it a little bit? Yeah, Because I do can that. bend these, look, and, and maybe that's going to be easier than if I was to do something. Or actually, I can collect them together like this and keep that shape until... You and could. then perhaps put it in my cold water. You could. So it will dry yes. that way and it will keep its nice shape. And I don't have to get my rolling pin out and I don't have to get other things out. And the other thing is, if you match those ears up at the same, at the same point, yeah. you know that the curve is going to be exactly the same every time you do it. Right, we need these, Liz. So We've got to have them. Yeah. <laughs> They're very useful. And now you're thinking, okay, now I need even more than well, I Well, I do because I only have the one. That's the <laughs> you can have wine. You Thank can you. have my eight ninety-five. As long as I give Cass the packet back, she oh, might yeah. not notice. I can fill it with a piece of paper. <laughs> Now we're going to leave those with you. Uh, most of these have now indeed sold out and uh, we don't know when we can promise them to you again. Now, Kirsty, my dear, let's go. I've got something lovely in box 20. I feel a bit like I need to do some gemstones. I don't want to leave anyone out. Here we go. Now I'm a little bit obsessed at the moment with the cubes ever since I met the wonderful Sarah who taught us ladder stitching the other day a new guest designer on the afternoon show i love cubes and have a look at this in turquoise look at that color wow now what a lovely turquoise color doesn't it look like turquoise it's magnesite don't you think that i think our the, our magnesite colors are a really wonderful wonderful match and actually if you saw this on the high street and you bought it and didn't say it was turquoise would your natural assumption be that it was turquoise I think it would naturally, that's an interesting point, because a lot of high street turquoise, when it's not stated what the gemstone is, even though because of the colour in your mind, it's turquoise and it can't be anything else. Actually, most of the time it's not. It's dyed magnesite. Mm. Now, magnesite has the most wonderful marbling within it. And if you get white magnesite, it, it's got this wonderful sort of Grecian feel to it. Now, in this colour, it's fantastic and you still get to see almost golden veins rather than the black which i really love it's very fresh very beautiful very egyptian looking now it's also a great way to make turquoise that color more affordable because as we know natural turquoise can be quite expensive for obvious reasons then i'm going to give you the perfect round so if you're doing peyote or if you're doing your ladder your ladder stitching 
These are gorgeous, aren't they? I do think these are going to be wonderful again for Soutash. We are giving you as many Soutashable gemstones as we possibly can at the moment. And I do think that's a great duo for that. Uh, beady beads, of course, with both of these would look excellent. Now I'm going to give you, I was talking to you about white magnesite, and we're going to give you just that. And don't you think you've got that wonderful marble effect, that definitely that Roman feel to these, kind of Roman goddess feel. Now, the rounds you've got in four mil and six mil, so both great, like I said, for Soutash. Also great for your bead loom. If you are lucky enough to have a bead loom, because we're not going to be getting them back until after Christmas. Oh. I'm obsessed with have you seen the bead looming, Liz? I've seen it before, yeah. Isn't it, it is. wonderful? It is lovely. You can get the most amazing patterns and things. You can. Yeah. Beading is, is major now, isn't mm -hmm. it? Is it? Competitive beading is going <laughs> to scale right now. Uh, now, if, you are think, if you're looking at competitive beading, then these would be some for you. And a lot of you are, are, are members of the American websites that jewellery make, and a lot of you are already uh, you, putting forward pieces that you have created with gemstones just like this and you've made some outstanding pieces pick up the phone now if you trust me i need you to pick up the phone right now but are you serious pick up the phone now if you don't pick up the phone now you are going to miss out i think you've got three gems if you don't like the price tag it doesn't matter put the phone down not lost anything but you will love the price tag i think you will buy four of these i think the color is wonderful these are great for summer pieces they're wonderful for winter pieces and if you consider how much turquoise is you're getting three strands are you kirsty are you sure you want to do this yes she said is that kirsty in my ear yes are you sure look at me wave at me okay i can see her I thought you'd been possessed by. Oh my gosh. It's a rainy day. Let's cheer ourselves up. With a ridiculous price tag, you've got to open a basket with this. Oh my goodness gracious me. Three strands going under eight pounds. This is ridiculous. KBG C08. And not by a whisker. That's very good. <laughs> now you Absolutely. like random beads, yes. Liz, but you would be picking up the phone yeah, for this, wouldn't I would. you? They're lovely. You They're just lovely. to put in your stash, yes. and it just adds a pop of bright colour, which you don't. You, you get some lovely muted colours, but you don't always get the really bright in your face colours, do you? So I no. think that's. Um, I think they're lovely, and they're great size for adding a pop of colour amongst your other bigger gemstones. I think. Incredible, mm. a free phone number a ridiculous price tag, an extended money back guarantee from now until the 31st of January next year. What's not to love about this deal? What's not to be picking up the phone and dialing for? Check out Baskets now because those phone buyers are very competitive with you on the website right now. If you don't check out Baskets, you're, oh, who bought six? Well done. There is somebody out there really loving this deal and I do not blame you. Maybe you're a tutor, maybe you're a teacher, maybe you think this is a great deal for your students. Pick up the phone and dial. You've got the extended money back guarantee. Don't forget, use your debit card, use your credit card. These will be with you within the next couple of days or the next few days. And it looks like we're heading for a sellout. Cues on the phone lines, don't worry. It's free phone if you're ringing from your UK landline. So don't panic. For more of these deals to come. We have got more incredible prices on our gemstones to come. In fact, let's do one right now. Let's test it. Are we get, is this how we're rolling, is it? It's like a naughty day at school. Going to be naughty all day at school? Fine, that's what's happening. That's what's happening. Stay on those phone lines. It's a free phone number. You've got that money back guarantee. This deal, things like this, 6 95 for gorgeous, genuine. These aren't plastic. These aren't glass. They're genuine gemstones. Look at the colour, 695 KBGC08 is your item code. We're gonna do another cheeky deal. The back phone is going off. I think Kirsty could be in trouble. I'll back you up, Kirst. We'll blame it on Ollie. Now, we're gonna give to you another cheeky deal. Now, Mark Smith, if you're watching, you need to pick up the phone, my darling, so I've got some of your favourites. Look at the texture of these black frosted rounds. If you're creating jewelry for chaps, if you're creating jewelry to go with that little black dress on Christmas day, if you're creating jewelry that will look wonderful with silver spacers, 
This frosted agate is perfect. I think this is the only frosted black strand of rounds we've got. So you need to be quick. How wonderful is this gonna look next to your polymer clays? How fabulous is this gonna look next to your silver stardust rondelles? Gorgeous, expensive looking, very chic. Feels amazing, by the way. And then you've got fabulous snowflake obsidian. I love the story about snow, uh, snowflake obsidian. It's actually formed um, after a volcanic eruption when the ash literally rains down. Just imagine it going and raining down little snowflakes almost of ash and then it settles this is me being a little snowflake of ash it settles on on the lava and it stays there and it stays there for years and years and then along we come and we mine for it and look those little snowflakes almost of ash have just settled i'm amazed i'd have think, thought they'd have washed off no, they don't. Oh, yeah, I know. Isn't yeah. it amazing? Yeah. But they don't. I think it's fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> I love things like that, though. I'm kind of obsessed with Pompeii. Now, <laughs> which I know is quite awful, but, you, you know, I just think it's, um, I think it's amazing. It is. It, I want, have you been, Kirsty? <gasps> Kirsty's lucky enough to have been. I'd love to go there. Now, you've got your clear quartz. I love the monochrome look, and that's what you've got here. And I actually think we've got opportunities to make very feminine pieces, very elegant, very mm. Linda pieces, very contemporary, but also, actually, very stylish. That's a key word here. But also, you've got opportunities to make something for the champs if you are planning on having that DVD with Marky and Drew. Then you want to grab these. A trio, and you know what? The one strand, the clear quartz, is a double strand. PXG C16 is your item code. You've got, hang on a minute, it's not clear quartz. This is white topaz. You can't do that. Kirsty, it's topaz. Mm. Aren't you giving us a price tag that should be lower than the topaz? What do you mean, skim over that? Shut up, Jenny. Kirsty said it's treat day, we're being naughty and shush. Okay, okay. PXG C18. Stay indoors, though it's freezing outside. Brrr. Another wonderful opportunity for you to get some fantastic deals on this wonderful monochrome trio is the word I'm looking for. Shouldn't you pay for white topaz? Eight, nine, it's a birth gemstone, <laughs> November's birth gemstone. Incredible deal. You've got two wonderful strands of rounds and you've got your clear quartz as well. PXG C16 is your item code. Stay on the phone lines. You have got 90 carats in the obsidian play round, plain round, six mil. Great for beady beads, great for earrings, great for stretchy bracelets. Your frosted agate are eight mil and we'll do all of those things and more. Your white topaz nuggets, well, have you got your chip and nugget DVD? You're on the phone lines for those already and I'm sure Mark's got about 20 strands of that <laughs> probably laid out on his sofa right now. He's probably at Beads Anonymous right now, confessing confessing all of the chips and nuggets he's had this <laughs> this week 8.95 with that extended money back guarantee shop with confidence with us here today knowing that we always back you up and you know what i'm gonna just show you i mean white topaz white topaz look how big this is even if that was clear quartz that'd be a great deal this is ice white topaz it is very icy because it's all irregular. It's Aha! Up. Now this is a Liz strand <laughs> yes. because it's all irregular. Liz is like, ooh, I love that. It's all irregular. Okay, so this is your kind of strand, Liz. Well, I also like the, the contrast between the shine and the matte. Um, yeah. Anything with a bit of contrast to me makes things a bit more exciting. You know, and it's just beautiful. I love that. I definitely have those. You have to keep them close, Jenny, because I'll be having them otherwise. Well, I don't mind, Liz. You can have what you like, my <laughs> darling. That's the perk of being here with me. We do like to. At least then you can show us what you make with it. Yeah. Do check out baskets now. Lots of these have already gone. Now, for the purpose of anyone who's watching on YouTube, PXG C16. Maybe you are buying from the USA this morning. Or is it this afternoon? Who knows? Not me, because I'm silly. Uh, now, make sure you are checking out baskets with us if you are shopping with us online. Now, my lovers, can we do the jewel enamel starter kit, please, Kirsty? Yes. The 
excites me. I love this medium. Now, if you have been using embossing powders in any way, now Liz, just a quick question before I start this. Is it all about jewellery making for you or are you a are you a generic crafter? I make all sorts of things, but I have to say jewellery has always been my passion, but I do like to do sculptural things as well, so Ooh. yeah, for, for exhibitions and stuff. So Ooh. I didn't bring a mask today, that, I forgot to do Do you remember do last time I saw you, done, I think it was at the vase? Yes. With all the, oh. Yes. Oh my yeah. gosh, I thought about that vase for ages, and actually I still think about it now for home <laughs> decor. It was amazing! Yeah. And with textiles and things, you know, I like, I like, making big things as well not just sort of small sculptural things but I mean big sculptural stuff really? yeah, it's fun oh, we really must do look through the keyhole of the jewelry makers houses <laughs> I'd love to come into your house have you got a workshop or do you I do it all have at home? a studio space yes I'm very fortunate I didn't used to until we moved to this house or is it separate? no it's at home yes I've just taken over a room of the house and I'm very I am extremely fortunate it's a good size space but it's so messy that's so messy. That's you what I want to see. That's what I want to see. I want to be like, yes, look what we're unearthing. Yeah. I feel like David Attenborough, who lives in a house like this. Now, um, Kirsty's just saying that she's got a studio. It's got a living room. Yeah. <laughs> Mine used to be the spare room, but it's not anymore. You've been here. Everyone's like, right, we've had enough yeah. of this. You can have your own yeah. room. <laughs> just build around, mummy. She's never coming out of this room. <laughs> now, you get everything you need embossing powders and Liz this is true isn't it are, are used in many different crafty they ways are, yes talk to me about what the options are if I'm a crafter that's because I know we get a lot of people flicking through that are crafty mm. and not right just thinking to themselves am I going to try this jewelry making thing out what would be similar to them that they might already be using uh, they would be using them with paper crafts and card making a lot that's really where most people started with um, embossing powders and then came along the ultra thick embossing powders so you could build up really really big thick textures and create little plaques and things that would go on cards but then they began to turn into jewelry because you could easily do that you saw on dominoes and bits of little chunks of wood and board and stuff and you can build up the textures and add more texture with things like the detailing enamels which is what we will look at later on oh, and so they're new yes they are and you can you can use the embossing powders also on uh, textiles too can you yes you can How? as long as you sprinkle them on you can stamp or put some sort of adhesive down whether it's a stamp pad or whatever sprinkle your um, embossing powders on and heat it up make sure that you're doing it on natural fibers unless yeah. you want the fabric to pucker because it okay. will do if it's a man-made fiber with the heat of the heat gun or whatever um, oh yeah, of course but of course don't forget they are the, they'll still be a little bit brittle so it mean needs to be on a piece of fabric that's not going to be bent or, or it's going to need to be supported in some way so it will be a finishing thing rather than something you did at the beginning where you're going to need to stitch a lot and it's going to flop I and do break. love it. I do love it. <laughs> and, and you might have seen embossing powders elsewhere. I'm going to give you a great deal. I think even you're going to be shocked. Uh, now you get the three moulds. Now you can use heat proof moulds for these and they are the kind of moulds that we see um, for, for cake decorating and baking and things like that. They're heat proof so they will withstand um, lots of different mediums mm. that you need to heat up. And you get three of those. You get your um this is kind of like diamondy when it comes out yeah. isn't it uh, your cabochon you've got your face very dramatic it reminds me of the face from uh, in the mirror from shrek and then you've got it does look like that doesn't it <laughs> and then you've got your heart which i've got a ring who knows who may, it might have been you it might have been yeah. um debbie bulford because you can use these for polymer clays as well yes you can it's wonderful color and Apple when you pick plastic. that up with your gleam it looks amazing it does it? yes it does now here's here's the look oh, lovely I lo that's exactly what my ring is like yeah. it must have matched was it you that did <laughs> oh, that? yes i did that one yeah sorry <laughs> <laughs> now, now you have got and i love these gilding flakes these are like the snow frost gilding flakes it's and stella flash I think stella flash sorry yes um they're kind of similar to gilding flakes no they're not because no. they're not sticky and they're much skinnier and yes i have put them everywhere now are these are stella flash used elsewhere as well can i put these in my resin yes you could yes you can use it like glitter as well it's lovely and chunky it's like fairy dust it's a bit like very finely chopped up bits of fusible film very dusty that's what that's what santa leaves behind isn't it it is tinkerbell it is tinkerbell's fairy dust Are you sure it's not just an empty sherry glass and the crumbs from a mince pie that santa leaves behind um <laughs> no he definitely <laughs> leaves magical footprints as well <laughs> And it's three glasses of sherry that Santa has in our eyes. <laughs> and Rudolph, if he uh, fancies one. Or milk sometimes, because yes. I did say that it's not good to encourage Santa to drink and drive. Now, 
have a look at what you've got with your your embossing powders or your jewel enamel powders. Now you've got all these lovely, lovely colours. I like to give them a sniff because they smell great. Now you've got your gold. Look at these. They look like actual chunks of gold, look. And when you pour them in, they will melt in the most fabulous way. Then I'm going to give you ruby red. What a lovely colour. And, and when, they, um, when they melt, Liz, do they melt and dry at a different colour or does it look exactly the same? Oh, no, it? very different. And much more intense. Really, much more really intense. intense. Um, because all of, the, um, are they, all of the elements have bonded together, yes, haven't they? Yes, yes. In fact, I think on the DVD, but certainly on other of my um, YouTube ones, you'll see where I've used, I've actually created some little uh, primers, if you like, from oh. each of the different colours, and they are really, really intense. Absolutely beautiful colours. Now you're yeah. also getting your amethyst as well. Now I'm going to give to everybody the paints. What do those do? The mica powders. The mica powders. Well, they powders. can be paint if you want to. Yeah, because you can wet these and you can make them into paint. You can. A bit like watercolours, yes. aren't they? Yes, and they're good for porous surfaces like paper and card and things. Um, and they're beautiful. They just twinkle. Just twinkle. They're lovely colours, intense colours, but they have a lovely shimmer to them. But you can use them dry, which is how I mostly use them. Um, I use them on cloud clay. Well, you can use them wet on cloud clay too. But they're really, really iridescent when they you put them on yes, cloud clay. Yes, absolutely. Aren't they? And you can use them on friendly plastic and on jewel enamels as well, and on polymer clay, of course. I'm and you can mix them up and create your own colours from them too. So, so you just beautiful. literally, can, you, you can brush them over with a, a really loose paintbrush, can't yes, you? Yes, that's what I tend to do, like a makeup brush, you yeah. know, that sort of... Yes, yes a and actually brush you can use, just yes. go and get a generic yes. blusher brush, because they're quite well priced, yes. aren't they? And then I'm going to get this lovely copper colour as well, which I think is probably one of the most popular colours of them mm. all, in that copper. You can see that shine that you get mm. from it right there, can't you? Now I'm also going to give you the gleams. Now, when there's a gleam, I'm not going to open these, because every time <laughs> I do, I go home, with a big blob on the end of my nose <laughs> where I've stuck my face in it. I, they smell amazing. And I've had my gleam since I started jewelry making. I, there's not even a dent in no. my pot yet. And we use these all the time. Mm. I tend to use these a lot with the kids in their art projects mm -hmm. because they're great and they transform everything. They bring something to this, that almost gives it a 3D effect. This wonderful shimmer gives it a lovely depth. But it also, if you're working with the patterns like you are in the, um, in the heart or on the face it will accent any little indentation yes and so it will really make a bigger feature out of the detail that you see here and any other detail that you put on so think about maybe that you are using the oozing uh, sheets and using a bit of mica powder over the, not mica powder uh, gleam. gleam over the top mm. just picks out the it does yes more, doesn't it yeah. and i'm going to give to you those three different wonderful colors you're going to get spice you're going to get purple and you're going to get that Christmas tree green. They do smell wonderful. Now you're also going to get, and I'm sure you've seen these elsewhere as well, when we use, you might have seen another embossing show, you might have seen another jewel enamel show, you might have been to the NEC. Uh, you've got your melting pot here, and it does come with the spatula, and it melts right up to a nice high temperature for you. It's got a sliding adjust, uh, adjustable temperature gauge at the top, it's got ergonomic handles for easy lifting and pouring and it's got um, it, it's just wonderful for heating lots of different types of material it's got a removable lid with it uh, now we've used the lid before Liz haven't yes, we when we've yes. needed to contain the heat well it, it makes things happen a little faster and it also stops you from dropping things in there by accident you know that's a point <laughs> that's a point you don't want to sneeze over no. it or anything if you were me that's what would happen so your melting pot talk to me Liz about all the different mediums I need or I can use a melting pot with obviously jewel enamels you can use it with friendly plastic you can bake polymer clay in it um, I think if you set can it really you low bake polymer clay in it? yes I think so particularly if you have one of the little project pans as well or you can just use one of these the little sheets I, I'm and obsessed those with those now but they're, they're really handy <laughs> And uh, you could, if you wanted to, you can you can melt wax in there. If you were doing yes, things you like can that. candle making yes. and things like that. Uh, crayons. If you want to melt crayons and do some fancy fun things with, there's all sorts of things. If you look on Pinterest and on the internet generally, you'll find interesting projects for melted crayons, and you can melt crayons. In I'm going to do this with my kids because <laughs> when it's raining outside. We need to find things yes. to do indoors. Yes. And if you set it on its lowest setting, then it, you can act as a warming plate effectively. So only will warm and dry out things. I don't know whether Natalia's ever tried it for, for warming um, and, or drying the, 
silver, silver clay. clay. I th I'm just hearing, I think she has. Yes. yes. Sean Natale has got a melting It's a very, pot. very useful, versatile little pot. I'd say most of our guest designers that come here have got a melting yes. pot, actually, if that's anything to go yeah, by. Yeah, very useful. Uh, Get involved in that trend. It's the Jewel Enamel Starter Kit LZFT65. Your Amethyst Jewel Enamel, your Deep Gold, and your Ruby Red. Your Mica Powders, three of those, your Stella Flash, your Gleams, and you have got your Corinth Carantha Silicon Molds. They are a really wonderful, really wonderful uh, quality. And of course, your melting pot itself with the spatula. Full instructions are inside of the melting pot, and we have lots of free downloads for you to enjoy on jewelrymaker.com. All of this for just. £79.95. Now, this will make a great Christmas gift. You can use your debit card or your credit card here today. If you're shopping for a Christmas gift, I think that this is a really wonderful, wonderful gift to give to anybody who's crafty in any way whatsoever. It doesn't just have to be jewelry making. And in fact, if you are watching now, maybe you're on your way channel hopping around, seeing what's going on, and you are a crafter and you are watching, you're thinking, hang on a minute, I've seen a melting pot for way more than that. I've seen embossing powders. Are they the same? Is this the same as an embossing powder? Is there anything different in our jewel enamel powders to an embossing powder? They're, they are similar to ultra thick embossing enamels, uh, not just your regular enamels. Uh, so um, the best kind of enamels. And they're thick, really thick, and but they, they have such intense color and they have a, a really lovely metallic sheen to them. And they are quite fluid, unlike some ultra thick embossing enamels, which makes them much easier to pour into molds and things. So they're, they're very versatile. I, to me, they're the nicest ones. I like them. I love the colours. I love the way they pour. So here we go. Liz is <laughs> recommending them highly, and she is our jewel enamel expert at 79.95. We're seeing wonderful value. I'm sure you know that if you've already visited the NEC and got this on your top list. Now I'm going to give you now Liz's image transfer uh, bundle, which I believe we're seeing for the first time today. We weren't supposed to have these, but cheekily enough, Kirsty's learned how to have tantrums now, which is good. <laughs> she, she learned off Kim. Now, where have I put these? Where are they? Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, here they are. <laughs> In 18, I've got my powders. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, way up. Right, we've got the clear, and this is the point, isn't it? I'm going to give yes. you this, and then Liz is going to give us the demo. Now, we didn't think we were having these today. We were supposed to be keeping them for an exclusive afternoon show, but the power of a girly tantrum has seen them on your screen <laughs> today. You've got the, the light silver. For the image transfer, we have the clear, which is here, diamond clear. Now, this is going to be a brand new essential to you. And uh, Liz is going to talk us through absolutely everything. You've got your mica powder in there as well, a little baby pink one, which is gorgeous. Addition, there are only, well, actually, they're not even 50. There's 49 of these. That's all we could get. Now, friendly plastic, says Liz, is an exciting modelling material that is easy for adults and children to use. You can get started with very little equipment and you can be creating unique designs in no time at all. We all know the wonderful Liz, the textile artist who has been working and teaching with friendly plastic for many, many years. Widely recognised in the UK to lead the way with innovative techniques. Now you can benefit from her knowledge and explore some of the many creative ways with friendly plastic. You can create texture with friendly plastic by stamping onto it with rubber stamps. You can join the strips together. Uh, Liz is going to show you how to do that. Liz's unique lace work with friendly plastic, perfect for cards, jewellery and textile applications. You can use moulds to shape and form plastic into repeatable patterns and motifs. And another of Liz's unique techniques is to ooze. We've seen some oozing today. Half the stock's gone. Let's get your price tag out. Limited edition. We only had 49. Half have gone already to the website. £16.95. Now there's 90 minutes in your tutorial here. Liz, talk to me about why your DVD is such a must have if we've got friendly plastic. It gives you the knowledge from beginning to end. And that's really what you need because, as I said before, you can improvise with all your tools and things, even your heating elements and stuff. But that is the knowledge on there from very simple, basic techniques. And you can do so many different things. And it's got a great gallery of 
inspiration as well that you can look at to, to take your ideas further. So you've got some examples of pieces that you've created that yes. really get your juices flowing. Lots Here's and lots of things that really extend it, not just little small things, but so big, bigger things and bowls and boxes and masks and stuff like that. So once you learn the basic techniques, you can then go on to create those bigger things. You've created the masquerade masks, haven't yes. you? And they're just wonderful. Also thinking about, you know, sculpting with these. This is sold out, I'm afraid. We didn't have enough of them. Why did we only have 49? What's that about? We should have had 300 of those. I don't know why. We couldn't get hold of them. Now, straight out, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to anybody out there that didn't manage to get theirs. Now, I'm going to give to you some gilding flakes. Uh, I do love a gilding flake, it's got to be said. And gilding flakes, again, are something that are, are, are very craftable, which means that you can use them not just for your jewellery making but for your other wonderful crafts and like I've said to you a million times cross the bridge if you've been card crafting for years and years and years and you think I need something new to sink my teeth into cross the bridge and come over to us here at jewellery making because I think you're going to love it now and I always think people are, are going to ring you and say I need this to go with this it's wonderful isn't it now you may have seen gilding flakes before. They have this wonderful, wonderful way of bringing your designs to life. Now I'm gonna open mine. You've got the autumnal colors here. Aren't these wonderful? You can use these with your friendly plastic, but you can also use these with your polymer clays. You can also use these with your resins, with your jewel enamel, with anything really. You can use these um, just by patting them against your polymer clay. In which way do I do I pat with these if I'm using friendly plastic? You heat the plastic till it's just tacky, uh, and then you rub them on. Basically, you pile them on and then rub and rub, and you heat, need to burnish and heat and burnish until they're really well stuck to it. You don't need any glues, so but you can use them with glues. You know, you can use them with double-sided tape, so you can punch shapes out of it Ooh. and make shapes. So cover a strip of tape and punch out things and. It's just um, uh, also with things like bonder web type, um, it's bonding fab for fabrics. Yeah, yeah I know what you mean. You yeah. can You could put it onto PVA glue, uh, all those sorts of things, anything that has a sticky surface. And just jazz it, jazzes oh, yes. it up a little bit. Here's some examples yeah. of that. Here we're seeing jewel enamel. We've also seen Debbie Bolford using her gilding flakes absolutely mad about gilding flakes pressing them onto polymer clay bringing the, your card craft to life perhaps maybe our price is a lot better than the uh, price tag you're currently paying let us know you've got all this wonderful color it's like treasure oh by the way they're like vacuum pack when you open it it literally goes boof and let me tell you you need like about this much for one piece it goes on forever i've had my gilding flakes for ages and they just don't want to I'm like will you run out so I can get some more colours they won't <laughs> they won't run out the only tip though is to empty them into a, a box like this so it makes it much much easier to manage yeah, because you try yeah. and stuff them all back in yeah. again then you can use your little box <laughs> for your findings now Cass is going to love me because they seem to expand <laughs> it's like treasure look oh I love the look of that just spilling out everywhere oh I want to go it's like it's like kicking up leaves isn't it you've got three lots Kirsty's just looked up and gone, oh, you messy girl. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Gosh, sorry, Mum. What have you done? She just said to me. You better clear this. I, I can't help it. I'm not mixing. There's a clear separation here, look. <laughs> there we are. Yes. They've all got elements of gold. Okay. These, however, I can't vouch for. Now you get all of this. Isn't it fabulous, though? Bursting with treasure. You know when Harry Potter, they go into, um, you know, the uh, Helena Bollum Carter's thing and everything they touch expands by about 50? <laughs> That's what this is like. <laughs> <laughs> what is he trying to get? His sword, isn't he? And everything's going. <laughs> That's what this is like, ever overflowing. You touch it and it just expands. It's called Guild Away. You've got the copper, the pirate, and the big gold. I love those descriptions. <laughs> All of this, and it's like pirate's treasure. Yeah. Three of these for just 10 95 <gasps> Now Liz, talk to me about the value of these. That's <laughs> extremely good value, because they, they are around about five or a pot, generally speaking. Ooh. And they go, honestly, for ages and ages. And you can use that all the tiny little scraps. And they're just so beautiful, and they give such a different effect. And when you're working with materials that are basically plastic in nature, they make them look a million dollars. 
They do. They really they do. They really do. They bring yeah. it to life. They give it this the whole new look to your jewellery. £10.95 is your price tag. Check out Baskets now if you've bought Liz's DVD. Add this one too. You don't have to pay any extra P and P. It's called Guild Away. Now, I want a Guild Away. I love it. Now, we're going to you. What are we going to do next? Let's do. Do, 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 do. Hang on. Oh. I haven't got anything in my 21. What was in it? Oh, hang on. Here we go. Oh, yes. Here they are. Cassie's moved it. Oh, Cassie. How messy of you. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I open these, Cassie? Have you seen how far these go? On and on and on. You can stretch them. These are great inside gifts as well. Yes. Now when you get a bag, I always put these inside there. It's like a <laughs> lucky treasure, you know, like a, a, a lucky dip. Love it. Now you've got the green. Now, believe me, this goes on and on and on and on. And again, you can use this for many, many, many you ways in your craft. Yeah, you can. Now I use it for oozing through a lot and it does look fantastic. You just make a thin sheet, mixing up the colours, just thin sheet, make sure it's full of holes and then you can ooze through it and it's beautiful, it's magical. And you can use it behind parchment with paper, yes, paper yes. crafting. It looks lovely. It does. Uh, you, now you've bonded this together. It, you can iron it, yes. can't you? That's what I do. It's just I just take a, tease out a few sprinkly bits and sprinkle them on a piece of paper. Put another piece of paper over the top and then iron briefly. I use on my iron. It's about the wool setting for three, four seconds. And it's it, the only reason to get your iron out, it I is, believe. Yes. yes. <laughs> and you can make great yeah. large sheets you of can. it. It looks wonderful. It does. Even like wedding invitations and mm -hmm. things that you sp you pay a lot yes. of money for. You know, you can make it really thick as well and stamp into it. Can you? Yes, and get impressions that way. It's beautiful. Can I make beads out of it then? Yes, like rondelles out of it? You can make beads out of it too. Just by ironing it? Well, you can, and you can make sheets so that you can roll it up and make paper, paper beads. You can scrunch it up and cover it in jewel enamels and make beads. Die cut it. Yes, you can do all sorts of things. It's really lovely. So it doesn't have to be thin. It could be really thick as well. It's just gorgeous. <laughs> you can oh, trap things. Oh, I needed it before. Yeah. Now I have to have it. Oh my god! And you, you can trap gilding flake in between the layers as well, and the stellar flash. And they'll sort of sparkle through. Yeah, they will. It's beautiful. Hey, uh, you've got this <laughs> wonderful peacock. Look at this crystalline, uh, crystallina. Isn't it wonderful? Now, how many of these am I supposed to have? Three. And then I've got, is that right? Am I supposed to have three? And then I've got these. What are these, Liz? <laughs> the fusible film. What's I fusible love film? that. That I'm is actually it. like a sheet version of the crystallina. OK, let's get some out. And there's an awful lot in each pack. Um, that's the stuff I've used with, with friendly plastic and with jewel enamels. And you can use it on its own as well. Um, and if you, you remember the, the pendant, the black one with the watch? Of course. That it has fusible film behind ah, it. And it's the green one you used, isn't yes. it? Yes, I've got that Although here. Although I will say that the colours that you see there, not necessarily the, the colours that they will turn out like when you heat them. So this is more, oh my gosh, you get loads. You do, you get an awful lot in each pack. A load. Cass, yeah. come and stop me. It makes beautiful wings. I was just going to say, I was doing this yes. and I was thinking, wings. <laughs> you know, if you put a, a cutter. I feel like a pageant girl. <laughs> if you cut out a little piece and put one of the metal shape cutters on the top and then heat with a heat gun around and all the edges will pucker up around the edge of the cutter and the middle bit will stay flat and you'll have this beautiful little wing shape if you, if you have chosen a wing shaped cutter. So it really is lovely. Look at these colours. They're gorgeous. You can layer them up, combine them with the Angelina fibres, put gilding plate between the layers. I love this stuff. Are you going to show us how to use this? Today not. I did last last month. Um, and Where again, uh, on an afternoon show, I, we could do a number of different things using them and combining them with gilding flake and uh, all the other things. So can I heat this up? Yes, you can heat it up. It what will pucker up. To it? It'll it pucker just up. Kind of like, oh. But you get all sorts of different colours. And if you drop it into a pot of black jewel enamels, it's gorgeous. It's got all these disco colours. <laughs> I'm just absolutely <laughs> in wowment, which is a new word I've just made up. And right, so you've got the... Look at that, I love the purple. So you've got the fuse and film. The iridescence is absolutely wonderful. Here's everything that I love, that peacock green. Cass has literally just exploded <laughs> with gilding flakes. Are you ready? We're going to give you a wonderful, wonderful price. I'm just... Oh, 
Twelve ninety-five. Oh. Believe me, one bag of of, of the um, Stella Flash goes on a long, it long, goes long, a long, long way. Long, yes, long, long, long way. Yes, and use it with everything you've already got. That's the thing. It just looks ace. Yeah. It's ace. This stuff, and and it, if you iron it, like we said, it it sort of bonds together, yes. and you get like a piece of paper, but made out of mm. wonderful lovely sparkly things much better than regular paper and then you can tear it and you can put it on your paper craft as well yeah. as on your yes. wonderful pieces of jewelry you can I use love the um, artisan explorer if you've got the die cuts and cut out shapes from it so it's, it's beautiful it really is lovely. big news isn't yes. it and the die cutting is absolutely yeah. huge news now i don't want to put this away i love <laughs> it craft is ace <laughs> all my friends that work in craft are now crafty even though they didn't start off being crafty, yes. everybody gets sucked in yeah. because it's wonderful. And it's lovely to be able to make something. There's a real pleasure in having made something. And giving somebody something yes. that's made. And it actually ha going to their house and seeing it on the shelf yes. or around their neckline. Yes. I love that. It makes a much more personal present. So I think it does. Mm. And I think it's just, it makes you feel good. Yes, it does. Somebody thought of me and specially made it for me. That's what exactly. is nice. It's lovely. Now, what number are we going to now, Kirstalino? Kirstalina, black and gold. We've got a new detail powder in these, which is detail black and gold, which looks to me like the peacocky black mm. and gold that you get. You know, in between a peacock feather when it's all yes, that. You know yes. how obsessed I am. It looks black and then it's got this gold shimmery to it. Oh, it's wonderful. Yes. You can't see it on it. Well, it is kind of like obsidian, Oliver. Oh, I wish I could show you. Now, explain to me what this does, Liz, because it something, does something new. This is effectively a very finely ground version of the ultra thick of the jewel enamels. It's so that it means when we um, do some, want some very fine detail that we might have stamped a design on yeah. using the stamp pad, I think there's a little stamp pad that comes with it. Um, the, the detailing enamel will pick up all the minute details, whereas the jewel enamels are a bit clunky. They're, they're, they're thick granules, so they won't be able to pick up all the fine detail. And it means you can add on top of your designs, uh, your jewel enamels and all sorts of other things, beautiful detail that picks out in enamel. Ooh. It's really lovely. In a different way that a gleam would pick out detail? Oh yes, definitely. Yes, it, because it's raised. Ah. It's slightly raised. It of does the raising, course. so you take a texture stamp. Well, we will do it. We'll, we'll do it in a yes, bit. We, we will be doing that. Yes. So grab it now, and then we'll go over. Yes. Um, and then we've got the detail black copper. Oh my gosh! Look at that. Ooh, I love that. I love that. Oliver's saying that's like it's got bits of rose gold in it. Oh my <laughs> gosh! Isn't it gorgeous? Then I'm going to give to you. He's very discreet. Oliver, you're being very inspired today. He's poetic in my ear today. <laughs> he's, he's like a young Tennyson in my ear. Have a look at this. Forget the Lady of Shalott. It's all about the Lady of Friendly Plastic today. <laughs> look at this. I love these colours. And then the light gold. We've seen so many different types of gold, haven't we? That is gorgeous. Oh, we need it. We need it. Let's get crafty. Oh, let's get crafty. I can't wait to get over to Liz and see exactly <laughs> how we use this. Brand new. And coming to your screens for just... And we, we are going to show you exactly what it does. Coming to your screens for just... 11 95 Talk to me, uh, Liz, again about value. 11 95 for four pots. Is that a good deal? Extremely good deal because a single pot of jewel enamels is around five pounds, isn't it? Or four or five pounds? Is that how much it is? Obviously, it depends on where you get them from. I, I can't borrow how much mine. It is on the I borrow mine yes, from here. So it depends on where you get them from, but around between four and five pounds. So that is extremely good value. And uh, getting the detailing enamels in there will just add a different dimension. It will make you be able to pick out the most beautiful little details and be able to use all your texture stamps as well. And draw. Draw? You can draw because I think in one of the bundles we've got. A little pen a for drawing. Coffee pen. Yes, we have. So, and then you can just use the detail, detailing enamels on there. So you could write. You could write messages, and then sprinkle the detailing powders on. I love this. My son is is a pen pal now with his old his friends from Cheltenham because we've uh. moved. And last night I was trying to teach him how to use a fountain pen. He was getting <gasps> absolutely ink <laughs> <irate> right <laughs> because he needs everything to be so neat and tidy. Oh. He can't be my son, honestly. <laughs> um, and if it's not neat and tidy, I'm never using a fountain pen again. It's too messy. 
couldn't believe it. Aww. I was like, really? Just get in there, son. Uh, now, <laughs> so we are going to see a pen. How wonderful. Kids are going to love yes. that over yeah. the Christmas time. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you could write your own Christmas labels to go on. You the can. You can, and you, we're not. Just, you don't just do it on jewel enamels. You could do it on anything, and paper and card. And if you just give you a little raised finish. Could I use it for place settings and things like yes, that? Yes, you could. Yes. How Any wonderful! Of those things. If you're doing whole wedding ranges, that would be amazing. Yeah. Oh my goodness, <laughs> 11 pounds and 95 pence. LKGC97 is your item code. Now I'm gonna give you some more before we go over to Liz. Which box number is that, Kirsty, my darling? Now, there's something again. I'm getting the, am I getting the three colors and the Crafty Flex or just the Crafty Flex? Crafty Flex. <laughs> we had a little bit of a word about Crafty Flex earlier. Yes. We don't know what you're talking about, so <laughs> tell me everything. <laughs> crafty Flex <laughs> is, is a, a really useful addition because it, what it does is it makes your jewel enamels which are essentially quite brittle um, into something that's much less brittle. It won't make it all really bendy, but what it will do is stop things from chipping um, when you drop stuff and it just, it just makes it a little uh, less, a little more durable, a little less a little prone more to accidents. Forgiving. A it's got yes. literally a bit more give in it, it does. and a bit of bend. It does. It also slightly thickens what you do. Oh. Um, so you know that that That's good. It, it can be extremely good because it makes things a little bit more controllable sometimes. Now you did say there was one thing we couldn't use our flexi friend don't on. You, don't use it with a diamond clear because it'll will almost instantly make it amber. Unless you want that. Yes. Yes. Okay. If you want the amber look, that's fine. Go for it. Because um, I quite like the idea. Of yes. That. Amber's oh. beautiful. It, it is. is. But, yes. but if you want it to be yes. clear, don't use yes. it. Yes. Of course. Now you're also going to get some colours in here, you're going to get your fire opal, love that colour. <laughs> you're going to get your deep gold, we've seen some um, gold in the last bundle, this is a deep gold. It's kind of almost like a pyrite gold isn't it? And then your rich copper, so you can really see the different tones here, there's lots of, a nice range of different colours and you're getting your Crafty Flex. Uh, Liz, within this bundle can I use my Crafty Flex with all three of these colours? Yes. And can I use them with any coloured? Yes. Any coloured embossing Absolutely, powder? any of them. It just gives it the flex a little bit of flexibility. In fact, we're going to be doing that. The proportions that you require are a little dependent on the thickness that your piece is going to end up being. Oh, okay, so, so we just need to do it in relation to how much powder we're putting in there. Yes, absolutely. And there's different ways of thinking about it as well, depending on what you want. If you're going to use just, um, if you want to just complete mix, then you can sprinkle the jewel enamels in, uh, the uh, Crafty Flex in over the top of your um, jewel enamels, or you can mix some into your pot dry so that your, pot, your colours have already got the jewel enamels mixed in, which will give you a little more control over your design at the end of it. Uh -huh. Does that make sense? Yes. Um, because you need to mix it in quite fully. So if you sprinkle it in, which we will be doing in a minute, um, you sprinkle it into a pot that's already got colours in, you're going to need to mix those colours quite a lot um, to get the, cra the Crafty Flex to fully mix. Um, so I quite like putting them into separate pots, you know, filling, filling a pot, well, putting a third in to my pot, and then the next time I use it, I know that it's already got it's it in. It's in there already, yes, ready. Yes. And it doesn't, it's not going to do it any harm or anything like no, that, and it's no. always fun. Right, now get on the phone lines. We have got one more <laughs> bundle to give you until we go over, and then we go over to Liz. You have got the Colourful Thoughts Crafty Flex, 150 grams of that, 30 grams of the Fire Opal, 30 grams of the Rich Copper, and 30 grams of the Deep Gold. GYG C80 is your item code. They're only 17.95. Can I expect to make a lot yes. out of this? Oh, yes. Oh, you can make a load, a load. I'm, I'm making some really big Christmas decorations. So if you were making jewellery, <laughs> it would go a long way, a very long way. And of course, the Crafty Flex, it bulks it out. I'm very excited yes. by the idea, Liz, of, um, of Christmas tree decorations, as I'm sure you know. I'm obsessed with Christmas. £17.95, I'm going to give you one more. And this is um, one that Liz is predominantly using, actually, throughout... No, you do use the Crafty Flex as well. I do, yes. Know. Yes. Doop, doop, doop. Aha, here we go. This is the pen. This is what I'm excited about. Are you going to use the pen? I am, in yes. A sec? Great. Stop. You realise what's in here? We weren't getting this back in before Christmas. Hang on a minute, stop. How come we haven't made a big song and a dance? You didn't tell me. Has it just arrived? Are you serious? 
I've got the wire twister tool. You have to be on the phone lines. <laughs> Everybody wants this. I got told this wasn't coming in before Christmas. I'm sorry, I'm very excited. I'm just doing your... <laughs> you need to be on the phone lines now. We've... Is this real gold and silver wire? Oh my gosh. One mil, one meter, nine carat gold on sterling silver. You have got to be on the phone. This is the most incredible thing because I'm sure, I'm sure I was definitely told the wire twister tool wasn't coming back before Christmas. I am so excited that we've got it. I've got the, now Liz has used the wire twister tool in one of her pieces that we saw earlier. And the reason I sort of didn't say anything is I thought, oh, I don't want to mention that because everyone's going to get upset because we haven't got it in. Why didn't you tell me? Oh my gosh, the wire twister tool is in stock. If you don't get on the phone lines now, you're going to miss out. Every designer that we have here at Jewelry Maker uses this. Every time we bring you the wire twister tool, it sells out. <laughs> it's a wonderful tool. Did you use your tool to get that twist? Have you I got actually yours? used the... Um, you used the bigger one? Yes, I, I find that really, really handy. But you could use either. You These can use either. Yes. Well, this one's good because it'll do the um, the lower, uh, um, because it's, it is portable and because it will do the really skinny ones as well. So you've got that, you've got the wire to store. Every, this is, Sheila and Linda will not move without this. Gemma Crow <laughs> will not go anywhere without hers incredible debbie bulford everybody is using the wire twister tool i'd say it's been the tool of the year actually i would go that far now you've got a meter of nine carat on sterling silver wire a meter and it's one mil gauge we never get this 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 bundle will i think sell out now i'm also going to give you the pen liz is going to show us how to use that it's your embossing pen and you also get your embossing water top boss what is top boss <laughs> It's basically like a glue in a, in a stink, it's a stink, ink pad form. Um, it's a, a glue, so it will give you an impression, a, a, a pattern. Of glue? Um, yes, because you just use your stamp pad with it. Aha. And then you press that on and it'll be clear, but what it is is glue to hold the detailing powder down when you emboss it. How lovely. So we're going to see exactly how you work with that in a sec. And then you've got your Carantha mold, you've got your Cabochon dome, so the pen is there too. We will talk to Liz about exactly how to use that. I am going to give you the wire and I am going to give you the wire twister tool. It snuck its way in there. I can't believe you managed to grab that. And you get the ruby red jewel enamel too. Incredible, incredible kit. This is a wonderful bundle, I love it. The ruby red, the wire twister, the embossing pen, a meter of nine carat gold on sterling silver you have got your watermark top boss as well are you ready for an incredible print i just need that you know that you need that wire twister tool so many of you wanting it check out baskets if you're shopping alone this bundle has been one of our busiest of the day so far i am sorry people are asking for liz's dvd it's gone it's sold out are you ready all of this for just 29.90 you need it in your life let's see what that embossing pen does because you're all going to be thinking I, I i like the sound of an embossing pen i like the sound of all of the, all of these pieces but what can i do liz is going to show you exactly what to do yes this bundle does include the wire twister tool and we have not seen it you could miss out you could miss out make sure you're checking out baskets if you are shopping with us online let's get on over it's like coming through narnia <laughs> coming through Narnia. Yeah. Edmund, there you are, Mr. Tomnus. Now, <laughs> although I did drop the Christmas tree on the floor. Well, we'll, sk we'll skim <laughs> so, over that. Yeah. I wasn't going to mention it. The okay. wire twister tool, uh, Yes, I stuck it down, so I'll have to show you that. <laughs> but that's, I, that was a bit of wire twisting I did. Oh with, my gosh. Uh, then it's just so pretty with the silver and the gold. Mm. I love the wire twister But it was tool. a double twist. So I did with quite fine wire and twisted it once, cut it in half and then twisted it again. Oh. So you get a, a double How twist on there. Fabulous. Which is quite, it's pretty. So, anyway. I am in love with this already. This <laughs> is going on my tree just like that. And then I see what you've done and I think, good gracious. <laughs> How wonderful is this lady? Have a look. Isn't Liz inspiring? So can you see that? 
the wire that I've used here is not the beautiful gold and silver wire that you've got in your pack. Um, I suggest that you use that for the twiddly bits or if you're going to make jewellery using this technique. Just yeah. use regular wire that you've got in your stash, I think, for, for, for I'd making I'd save that sterling yes, silver for I would something too. so yes. special. Yes, I would too. Aren't they wonderful? So we're going to learn how to use. And what's the, where have you used the embossing pen? What, well, what? we're going to do that after. Okay, okay. We've, we've done this. So there are the little dots on first. here and the squiggles oh. on the other side. Oh, it's a double-sided star. Yes, it looks because we're using glass. So, uh -huh. and this is where you can get those little spots and patterns and decorations that you're after. So cool, isn't so, it? I will say, when I did this, I did not have the detailing powders that we've got today. I had something similar that was at home, but they're not as nice as the detailing powders. Okay. Yes. This is a little ring that's done with the same with Isn't the detailing powders. Fantastic. We'll look at that later. Okay. Should we look at the crafty flakes? Yes, please. Okay. Right, I'll just move this up and I'm going to just show you in the melting pot I've got some lovely colours. Um, and and they're quite separate from each other rather than all what they in are one at go. the moment. They are okay. at the moment. They're going to mix in a moment. That bit seems to be just reluctant to, to um, go. When you look at this, can you see it's really quite granular? really quite granular. Yeah, yeah, I think it's like uh, bath salts. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put it uh, in your bath. So I'm going to, you can see how granular it is, I'm going to sprinkle in about a third. Okay. Of, so not a third of the pot, but about a third of the what's already in of there. what's already in there, the, of the colours that are already in there. Mm -hmm. If the thinner the piece is going to be, the more you want to use. Okay. The thicker it is, you just need, you know, 20 to 30 percent is fine. Okay, because it'll be more brittle. If it's yes, thin, right? it will. Okay, so that just does need to melt a moment. A melting moment. Yes, a melting moment, and I really need to let it. You'll s can you see that? Oh, now actually, you're squiggling. It's actually stickier it, as it melts. It is stickier. And that's because it's cre it's got that thickness. Thick to yes, it. it is. Now, when you're mixing, if you've got to be careful not to mix into sludge, are you more yes. introducing them to each other rather than mixing? Yes, I th think so. Absolutely. Yeah. Although. Sometimes it depends on your colours that you've put in there. You can mix quite a lot, and then you'll get a really subtle, a subtle colour. Yeah. And in fact, I think some of the Christmas tree decorations. This one here. Oh look! Um, can <gasps> you see? Uh, that's not oh, one of my. Oh how wonderful! <laughs> Just the, and this little one down here. Not the ring, though. I don't think that's no, this a, one here. Yes, and the other one behind it, and there's a little one underneath your hand, Jenny, as well. That's um, this one here. Oh, this is so. This one is pretty. Oh yeah. my gosh. And that's actually wow. I, those were re pre-twisted little bits that um, I happen to have, and wow. I thought they would make a nice. Uh, that's with the detailing and you know enamels on there as well. That so is just incredible. Those little pieces are meant for jewellery, but heck. I thought they'd make a nice Christmas decoration. Oh, there's no such thing as rules when it comes yeah. to jewellery That making. was just a fun little bit that I did using the transfer wow. uh, technique just to show you it uh, with no backing and that it is translucent so you can see behind it. Did you put your hand behind, Jenny? You could see. I did, yeah. yeah it's really, you can really get the translucency of it. So and this one. Oh my gosh, what have you put around the edge? A bangle. Yes, I got, I got some really, really oh, cheap bangles. Yes, I know. <laughs> from a well-known store. I know exactly where you got these from. <laughs> my daughter's got them. And I thought they would make really good frames. They do. So that's... Uh, <laughs> How cheeky, they're only yeah. 50p or something. They were less they than expensive. that. I had a whole stack for about two quid. I had about yeah. six of them or something. Oh my gosh, I love, love, love it. And... Yeah. Where's the other one I there's, saw that I loved? There should be three on. The, oh, there's just those three and that and one. And is there. this jewel oh, no. enamel as no, well? No, that what one is isn't. That? Lisa, I don't know what it is. It didn't break when I threw it on the floor. It? it could be, or is it resin? Oh, it's resin. It, it could be, be resin. resin. Yeah, isn't it fab? Okay. I love, it. I love it. Right. So what's going on now? Liz? I really want to melt this completely, and it's just taking its time. It's the studio as well. We've got the aircon on because it's boiling yes. here today, isn't it? And you know, sometimes I think this socket. Seems to no, produce dodgy. a little less power than yeah. than uh, I don't know why. Anyway, in a minute we will be able to swirl it around. What about if I put the lid on it? Will that make will that heat if up? I, if I no. brought the lid with me. Oh. <laughs> you have to what we could own. do? We don't. No. Own. What we could do is just leave that a second. Yeah. And I'll just tell you about another use for your bits of wire. Yes, please. The came the about wire. Yeah, came about by accident. Let me just put that to one side and just okay. put this on here. Can I do anything? Can I stir oh, it for you? Um, we should. I just wanted to hold that over the top and see whether that. Okay. <laughs> okay. I happen to have some little bits of scrap wire um, that were just curled up on this, my work mat, and I was pouring out the excess from my jewel enamels pot. Yeah. And it just went over the wire, and I thought, oh, that's quite fun. 
A um, happy accident. Yeah, it's a happy accident. So I isn't it ace? Yeah, and I started bashing the wire out. So you get this. This was thin wire. So you get this lovely um, textured effect. That's it. We can show. Yeah. It sorry. Me and you appearing at it. Isn't yeah, it that's right. Same looking at it. But this is actually this one is is quite. You, uh, you'd have to hold it up to the light to see it really. But it's quite translucent. You can see it's yeah. translucent. So that's if you've got some scraps of bits of wire that you just want to use up. Splodge some jewelry enamels yeah, on it. Never it chuck a, it away. No, ever, ever, ever. It makes a really, really nice um, little little brooch because I think that you know they're just rather I nice think as it's a little great. brooch. And as, I've got a lovely peacock scarf that I just received today yeah. that somebody sent to me to thank you. Um, <laughs> and um, that would look okay. amazing keeping that. Well, there you together. go. That's yours. Woohoo! <laughs> I love it. I also like diamonds and yeah. rubies. And <laughs> Holly went, I think the Christmas trees would look really great on my tree. <laughs> and the same with beading, um, the beading thread. Little swirls of beading thread, and I just used a crimp to crimp them together and then just put the jewel enamels on the top. And that I've just put onto a piece of card. So. Oliver's making a list of things that he needs, and it's Kirsty. Is it your birthday tomorrow? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's Kirsty's birthday tomorrow. Oh, okay, we must bring oh, wine. Oh, happy birthday to Kirsty! Right, okay, let's put this back over here. Don't wear your birthday suit to work, though. <laughs> and I'm going to swell this about. You might notice that I've got a lot of colour in the pot. Okay, what we might do is because I can see that there's some air bubbles. I'm just oh, going to use love the heat gun. That, what you've just done? Yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to use the heat gun on it use on the slow setting and just get rid of some of the air bubbles this is a, a neat trick I'm gonna keep it. speed it up because this is taking too long it just gets rid of some of the air bubbles there that is that, isn't it, it does it works really well and it, it does speed up the heating process put that down there okay your crafty right. flex bundle is at the bottom of your screen for you you need to make sure that it is well mixed in. But isn't it lovely? Those, I mean, that in a big round would make isn't a it gorgeous? beautiful Christmas decoration. Can you see it? how stringy it is now yeah. in comparison to normal? Yes, it is actually. You've isn't got it? these, these mm. long Like threads. caramel. Yes. I'm just going to move that because I seem to be decorating that as well. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. You can just play with it. Okay. You? Now, this is taped down onto the glass to stop it from moving. Ooh, oh see. yes it is just with normal tape. just tape and, oh, yes. do i need to worry if it goes over the top are we trying no, to put it you can you can pick it off uh, yeah you can pick it off afterwards i'm going to try and be a bit neater will but it stay inside there will it yes it will because i've taped it down and it'll stay thing. in there when it dries it'll bond together with ah, that wire now if you want it to really bond because there's two options here you can use this as just a frame which um we might do or you can uh use it so that it bonds, the wire edge bonds completely. Yeah. I've got a bit that's missing. Because I there. like that wire edge. Yes, whoops, I've gone over the top there. It's always more difficult doing it here, you know, than at home. I'm sure all the other design, guest designers will tell you the same. And I can squiggle all over and see what's happening. Look at just little, little shapes. I love it. <laughs> and again, I'm thinking of melted yeah. chocolate. If you want this to stay in here, by the way. It looks like a volcanic eruption. Oh, it does, doesn't it? It's gorgeous. The colours are just gorgeous. Just love those colours. If you wanted that to be more differentiated, that's when you mix the Crafty Flex mm. with your pots in before you put them in yeah. and put it in here. So, um, the pattern is just... <laughs> It is gorgeous, it's absolutely like lovely. But if you want that to stay in there, the trick, and this is my friend, friend Brian in, in Wales again who told oh, me this, Brian. he's fantastic. Put a little bit of PVA glue on the inside of the wire of your frame. Before or after? Before you pour in the jewel paint enamels. It on? Just paint it on or use your finger, rub it on. I mean, well, where's the, the brush? I just use my finger. So, yeah, because um, I, I quite like peeling it off yeah. afterwards. So. <laughs> and it sticks then to, to the edges and it will stay in there, How which fab. is really, really handy. That's ace. So I need to let that cool. And when it's cold, um, it will come out and you could be able to lift it off the uh, glass surface. So you'll have a shiny surface on both sides. Ah. And then I've just wire wrapped the corners, if that makes sense. Can you see that? Um, yeah. Just wire wrap the corners because because it's come out of the frame with this one. You've got actually little ridges which you can um, highlight with gleams if you want to. It looks good enough to eat. Yeah, it does well, actually. That looks yummy. Yeah, and that the little dots are with the, the um, detailing pens. Which I don't, are we doing them now or are we doing them in a bit? We'll do them now, please. All righty. Let's see whether we can get this off here. Is it still? How would I call that? Could I put it on some ice or over yes. some ice? Oh, you can put some water on it. Mm. Yes. It's good if you've got a big thing of um, water, a uh, big jar of water. Let's just cool it we down. We could, Liz, go to the Wall of Fame while it's drying. Oh, no, that would be that fantastic. That would be much easier. That would be life. much easier. I wouldn't have to make a big wet mess That's again. That's fine. <laughs> That's what we'll do. I just thought, you know what we could do? We could do the Perfect. drawer on the Wall of Fame. <laughs> oh. 
And I love it because it's the best day for the whole uh. thing. So it's the draw. <laughs> so if you are absolutely inspired already by Liz, then uh, wait because there's more to come with the embossing pen, which I'm really excited about seeing how, yes, how that it works. Yes, that is fun. Now it's time to do just that. Let's get over and do the draw. It's Wall of Fame. Fingered hand. Yeah, look at that lovely yeah. detail that we've got. We're just looking at this, um, <laughs> saying, wow, it's on, it's on the ring as well. And this is from Della and Phoebe from East Yorkshire. Hi, all. This is my daughter, Phoebe, who is a five year old. Oh, my gosh. First attempt at macrame. Oh, wow. What? That's impressive. Look at that. First attempt at macrame. I hope she makes the awards because she's off school at the moment with a flu. Oh, God bless oh, her. Oh, poor thing. Wait, what's her name? What's her name? What's her name? Phoebe. Phoebe, yeah. Phoebe. Get better. Phoebe, we've got a pony called Phoebe. Have you? Yes. <laughs> I bet you're nicer, though, because she's a little bit vicious. Uh, no, she is. She bit me. Uh, she's very Phoebe, talented, this, this Phoebe. Phoebe's gorgeous. Yes. Phoebe, you are so fantastic. And poorly you with the flu, giving you yes. big, big cuddles and kisses. Love Mark and Vicky loads, and Phoebe hopes they like the way she's modelling her jewellery. I love it. <laughs> Phoebe, it's fab. Thanks a lot, Della and Phoebe from East Yorkshire. We're sending you, Phoebes, big kisses. Yeah, I hope Phoebe, you feel you're better. fantastic. I can't believe she's yeah, done that's that. That's amazing. She's wonderful. I can do that. I just made mess. Mess, generally. Phoebe. I still Phoebe. made mess. But I don't even think my 13-year-old uh, can macrame like that. No. Wow. Tie knots, yes, but not macrame. Yeah, not some things that <laughs> yeah. she then can't undo. Yeah. 147, this is really beautiful and delicate. And this is from Jill Elliott. She says, morning, everyone. Wow. Uh, hope you like this necklace and bracelet set made with 0.8 antique bronze wire, rainbow oh, hematite, seed that. beads and rice beads Isn't and frosted cool. pearl seed beads, mm -hmm. all from JM. I'm enjoy enjoying the new afternoon shows and the new designers' ideas. Just wish I had time to watch all the hours. Gemma Crow's designs yesterday were just amazing, were. as always, Gemma. Yeah. So good luck to everyone this week, this weekend from Jill in uh, Jill Elliott. Jill so Elliott. She doesn't say where she's from. Somewhere. Somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere in the yeah. world, Jill. <laughs> where the world is a little beautiful place. <laughs> now, I love this colour. Very autumnal. Nice, simple oh, yes. design. Earrings to match. Couldn't be better, could it? Mm. 150 is from Gorgeous Claire, who says, Hi all, here's my entry for this week. It's an all carnelian necklace and earring set. The colours of carnelian are great at this time of year as it's the colours of the falling leaves. Mm. Loving the shows and lots of new DVDs. Getting a little DVD library going on now, but uh, they're great to refer back to. Good luck to all with the draw. Best wishes, Claire. Fingers crossed for you, Claire. This is 149. And hi all at JM. My latest entry for the Wall of Fame is a, simply, a simple necklace and earrings made with black spinel and silver beads, all from JM. The photo doesn't show the sparkle and shine that the gems and silver have, but it, it all looks very expensive, but it wasn't. Best wishes, Chris Tolman. And it is lovely, isn't it? Chris, it's gorgeous. Yes. I love, look at this. <laughs> oh, wow. Unbelievable. That is amazing. So, so it's crunchy. You know, really I love it. You have to show just everybody their Jenny. <laughs> well, you know when you're just looking at something, you yeah. say, I can't take my eyes off that. This is from Susie. Sue, one of my best friends is called Suze. We call her Boozy. Uh, but I'm not calling you that, Susie. <laughs> Susie, spelt with a Z, which is my favourite way of spelling it. My Wall of Fame entry this week is a necklace I made as a raffle prize for my local preschool fundraiser. Susie, wow. wow. It's the Rachel Norris filled heart design made using, listen, you're going to set a precedent for yourself now. Ne you wait till it's PTA. You'll be, right, we've got a fake coming up. We need you, Susie. Yes. <laughs> Every time. And you're just going to have to you'll be like, oh. I hope you raised lots of money. I bet she did. Yeah. Uh, Silver plated wire and a whole host of gemstones, including amethyst, smoky quartz, hematite, agate, onyx, to wow. name a few. And strung on a simple organza ribbon and handmade clasp. I was unable to attend the raffle, but apparently the necklace was very necklace was very popular, which is very nice to hear from Susie and Frome in Somerset. Susie, that's it's beautiful. She's mm. fabulous. Your one five one. Right. <laughs> Without further ado, shall we get drawing? Yes. Let's give it a spin, <laughs> and then I'll let you draw the tickets. <laughs> do, 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 do. I like our new little. It's very snazzy. It is, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, with right. a little lid. With a little lid and everything. Good luck, everyone. <laughs> In you go. 
What's that one? Number 48. 48. You're the runner up and you receive £50 <laughs> credited to your jewellery maker account. It's a good name, Jenny Taylor. Ah. Well done, Jenny Taylor. <laughs> that is number 48. And another one. Fifty-one. Number fifty-one. All close together. I bet they yeah. were on the same day. Who is fifty-one? Karen Cairns. Ah, well Karen done. Karen Cairns and Jen, you both won. And Karen, you win a hundred pounds. It was worth it. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't it be lovely? A yeah. hundred pounds. That would be nice. Now, well, I don't know why I'm taking the key out because I'm only going to lose <laughs> it. Don't touch keys is the general rule of life. Now, after the break, we have just had word that a brand new silver deal is coming up for you after the break. Have a look. All of this, what, two packs? Oh, going cheeky low. After the break, don't go anywhere. We've got more with Liz after this. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. guest designers Debbie Bulford and Rachel Norris to explore the endless possibilities of combining polymer clay and wire work. This DVD guides you through a variety of projects and will give you the inspiration you need to create your own designs. Advance your jewellery making and fuse your talents together with this amazing DVD. To get your hands on a copy, contact our call centre. Get creative with Jewellery Maker. Are you looking to create bespoke bridal jewellery? Then come and join guest designer Sheila on our bridal workshop. Sheila will guide you through how to design stunning accessories, including techniques using headbands, hair combs and tiaras. The full course includes a selection of hair combs and headbands, a selection of findings and wire, a generous scoop of mixed gemstones, use of all relevant tools, a buffet style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios and a trip to our gemstone museum. All of this for just £69.95. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 6444 655. Jewellery Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Join us on Jewellery Maker as we count down the days until Christmas. Stay tuned to see perfect Christmas gifts for all your friends and family at prices you won't believe. And what's more, anything you buy can be refunded or exchanged until the 31st of January. So for hassle-free shopping and great value, it has to be Jewellery Maker. Welcome back. It's time to get crafty with the embossing pen and you've got your um, your glue pad as well i have okay i'm gonna just let you take it away tell oh, us exactly right. what to do okay i've got my beautiful star that we made earlier on what i'm going to do first of all i'm going to use the the pad and i've just got a lisa pavelka texture mat here you could use a rubber stamp or whatever i do like these mats though because they're um flexible so they're great for going yeah. around things great quality yes Natalia's got a nice range and so has uh, Debbie Bolford on our yes. website which you can check out. Yeah, well. any of those things, they're really good. Okay, so it's, you can see there's a little bit of a shine on there, can you? So you just literally, sorry we didn't get that on camera, you just literally pressed over with the, oh sorry, the water. Oh, the water's in, in the, the way. way, it's always in the way, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you just dab it on. Dab it on. Okay. No pressure, just dab, dab, dab. Just dab, dab, dab. Until Do it's... I need to keep that wet or anything? Just keep the lid on. Okay. Don't fine. leave it with the lid off for any okay. length of time. Okay, so now I've got, that's a little shiny. Mm -hmm. um, and we're going to just put this on here and I'll just do a little bit of this. I love this. I love the idea that you're transferring a print with glue. Yes. It's this fun. is fun. 
Okay, press that on. Oop, I've probably moved it, so I've got a slight wiggle on. Wiggle on. Try and be as neat as possible, and I think I moved it. So now I'm taking the detailing powders. Can you see that they are very much finer than the regular embossing powders? Yes. And just sprinkle it on. And if you notice, I have a piece of paper underneath. For an obvious reason yes. to collect it all. Because <laughs> you do want to connect, collect it. So if I knock that off. Oh my gosh. You've can created you lace. Absolutely. What I'm going to do is I'm Can we show that to Can the... you see it there? Uh, there you go. <gasps> That's it. Oop, wrong way. Go that I way. I love <laughs> it. What I need to do is just blow off the excess. Okay. So I'm just going to do that in the opposite direction. Am I going to get, well, no. I look like a chimney sweep by the time okay. you've done there, it. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've knocked off most, but then I just blew off the, the extra bits that were there. So this then goes back in the pot. Fabulous. So we'll just quickly put that in the pot, just so that you don't waste any. Okay, and the pen, how do I use the pen? We'll use the pen next then. The glorious pen. And we'll do the same thing then. Okay, so uh, with the pen, you've got two ends. You've got a brush point, so you could just uh, kind of. Could it. you write your kids' names on the Christmas tree okay. decorations? I'm just going to write. Oh, you're writing my name, Jenny. And I'm going to see whether I can make some little little marks. I don't know what I make some just little. You can put loves Frankie de Tory if you like. I could, couldn't I? <laughs> yeah. I just put some little because the other end, if you saw that, I'm being a bit speedy here, is a bullet point. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. So, um, that uh, can you see that there? Yeah. That so that's really nice if you want to do proper fancy writing. And we'll see that, and it comes out. Yes, hopefully. Can I use this another way? So it's kind of like glue and embossing pen. It is. How wonderful is this? Can I use this with regular glitters on paper? Uh, yes, you can. You can also use it with the mica powders <gasps> too. It's got my name. It on. has. <laughs> <laughs> Can we put that right up yep, to the camera? There we go. Well, it's mine now, obviously. Can we see? Can we? <laughs> can, can you see, see it there? It? There, there. Yeah. Yeah, Jenny, so there. Oh, we need. Can you imagine doing your Christmas decorations and you could actually personalise them with all the names? Yeah, of your you children? could absolutely. Oh, or you lovely. could get the children to write their own names on them, couldn't you? No, because, because I'm a control freak when it comes to Christmas decorations. Oh. They're not allowed. To get yeah, <laughs> you rotter. Part I'm of the not pleasure. Really. I let them do it, yeah. and then when they've gone to bed. I rearrange it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're as excited about yes. Christmas as I am. They are allowed to make the starter. They, are they? Yeah, yeah, they make their own. Last year, Mia and Max did uh, tomato and basil soup as the starter. <laughs> so now lovely. what are you doing? I'm using the heat gun now because I want to make bring it up stay. The, yes, you know, to bring up the um, the detailing enamels. Oh. And you will see they will melt. Oh my gosh, it's popping out. Yep. Have you seen this? It pops out. Can you get, can you pick it up on the camera? Is it? Yeah. Oh my gosh, we will do in a minute. So it gets darker and it lifts yes. out of the design. Oh my gosh. And I'm using the copper one on this. I need it. It's really good. But yeah. if I'd used the jewel enamels to do this, it wouldn't have had such a fine pick up of the detail. This is wonderful. Have you ever seen this kind of thing anywhere else before? Is it just? Yeah. Um, you can use regular embossing uh, embossing powders, but they're not always as fine as this. This, this is really seen really fine. Like this is wonderful. You need to just keep going until it's really gone. You can see it, Dave. It's popping out. The design yes. is lifting up. And we can show that to the camera. We've Ooh, just got to show a little bit there. Stage, okay. There we go. So now Let you see. can see it's lifted out of the design. In love with this. I can, can play with this I... all day long. Oh, go the right way. <laughs> I always go the wrong way. But it is really lovely. It's wonderful. I love it. Yeah. Right, we're going to have to leave it there. <gasps> we are running out of time as always. <laughs> oh my gosh. Make sure you're getting yours. Now, I'm going I'm to skip back through uh, the wardrobe. Uh, I'll leave you in Narnia. Okay. And we'll, go, we'll go and see the rest of the, the, the rest right. of the family back here. Woo, come on, Bye, come Denny. On. Bye, darling. Thank you. I love that. I'll now. Go and see Mr. Tumnus. Yeah, you stay with Mr. Tumnus. <laughs> now, don't eat any of that Turkish delight. Now, have a look. I tried to start with Discworld with my son last night. I confused him very much. Don't even go there. J.R. Tolkien's Discworld. He was like, Mummy, I don't understand any of these words. <laughs> I was like, I don't either. <laughs> now, I am going to give to you a deal that means you are going to be smiling for the rest of the day. If you've already got your fabulous jewel enamel, I'm in love with it. Uh, you're going to want lots of gorgeous findings as well. Now, this chain to me is the most glorious chain we have. I love the hearts. They're very detailed and it looks extremely extremely professional now these hearts are fabulous because 
that's a bracelet just for you right there. There's a sentiment behind it. These are great for uh, your Valentine's Day pieces, great for giving to loved ones. I would love to give this to my mum, to my daughter, to my sister, to my best friend, you know, with a little charm on it. Maybe you're going to make, all, I've got two sisters and I've got a mum and I've got a daughter. What if I made them all the same bracelet but with their birthstones, just as a little charm on each one. It makes it so personal. Now you've got seven inches there, no, nine inches, so you've got, um, an extender because the, the the average bracelet is seven inches so you've got two inches to play with it or maybe you can make um maybe you can make matching earrings or maybe you can use that two inches for your extender now i'm going to give you an opportunity that means perhaps you want to make a necklace out of it because you're going to get a deal here these are solid sterling silver you get let me show you everything that you get you get your head pins your crimp beads your toggle clasps your shepherd's hooks and your um what's it called lobster claw clasp just left me just left me you've got your jump rings there as well everything you need including two pairs of shepherd's hooks for solid sterling silver jewelry if you have bought lots of our gems of distinction pieces and you're thinking higher end this one is for you SHG C34 is your item code. You have got 86 findings all together and you are going to get a glorious deal. Now individually, usually, well actually we're not really supposed to sell these. We've only been doing it the last sort of couple of weeks. Now one pack is normally 14.95, isn't it? It started at 14.95 and then it went down to 12.95 as the lowest ever price tag on its own. So I've got to let you know, we're not supposed to do this deal. It's a rainy day out there. We want to cheer you up. It's a rubbishy rainy day. Maybe, maybe you're getting ready to go to your daughter or your son's graduation. What jewellery are you wearing? Maybe you're looking outside and thinking, I'm going nowhere, Jenny Cleary. I'm just sat jewellery making. Maybe you've got one of those strands that just has to be silver. Maybe you've got that best friend that you just have to make that sterling silver piece for. Maybe it's bridal jewellery that you're creating here today. Whatever it is, act fast. You are going to get all these sterling silver. If you're driving for the higher price tags, if you're selling your jewellery, it's got to be precious metal. Did you get that wonderful sterling silver wire with the nine karat gold overlay? Here's your opportunity. And Liz, we love an opportunity to get precious metal in our, oh, in our pieces, yes. don't we? Yeah, most definitely. Yes, such a good price. Now we're going to give to you, remember, individually, they are 12 95 So they should be, what, 26-ish pounds, just a bit under. 25 90 not 25.90 today. In fact, my darling hearts, SHG C34 comes to you at just. You're buying one pack and getting the other one for just two pounds. This is incredible. Maybe you've been toying with the idea of using precious metals, but you couldn't afford them before. Now you can. Couldn't you believe that you're not shopping at the jewelry quarter, that you're not at a jeweler's, but you're getting jeweler's findings So just 16.95 this is incredible loads of you shopping online today most of you in fact shopping online multi buy this one we can't guarantee this deal again i remember laura and i did a deal um, on these findings and it was it was trouble there were bit there was big trouble we had to explain ourselves afterwards <laughs> right now <laughs> kirst is following on from uh, she'll say laura said laura did it Laura did it. 16.95. What a wonderful, wonderful deal. SHG C34. Check out baskets and just appreciate what you're getting here. Solid sterling silver. Now that necklace that you made that you were going to charge £15 for, could you now charge £20? Maybe furthermore. Think about as well receiving the gift that is a beautiful bracelet with the heart design. Think about, I've got some beautiful amethyst coming up for you later. It'd be gorgeous. If you've got someone whose birthstone is amethyst, how fabulous would that be? Peridot, maybe. My birthstone's diamond, so there's only one thing for it. <laughs> You're just an expensive girl. I am. I'm, very, I'm high maintenance. <laughs> and it's not for the things that I need. It's for the things that come with me, actually, <laughs> indeed. You'll buy me a diamond-shaped agate. Okay, thank you so much. Just a present in general is nice, actually. 
I think I might be homeless soon if, uh, if the pig's got anything to do with it. <laughs> it's you, right, you've got to leave now with this pig, <laughs> honestly. Uh, now, if you are on those phone lines, stay where you are. There is a queue. How many of these did we have, Kirsty? Because they just came in, I didn't know. We had 300. A third of the stock has gone, so 100 of these have already gone. 16 pounds, 95 pence is your price tag. And if you are shopping high end today, this is the one to mix with it. If you are buying those expensive strands, these are the ones to go with it. If you want to charge a bigger price tag, these are the ones that go with it. And the toggle class is such wonderful, wonderful quality. I want to show you, because if you are looking to um, make cufflinks as well as obviously beautiful, um, beautiful clasps, and you want to make that really special pair. Maybe it's for the groom. Well, they've got to be sterling silver. They've got to. Why should the bride get away with it? And you know, it's got to be. And look how reflective, look at the hearts. Look how reflective they are. Just look at that. I'm just talking about the toggle clasp. And there it is, there it is, glinting. And actually, silver's the most reflective of all the precious metals, isn't it? 16.95 value personified. SHG C34 is your item code. 86 solid sterling silver findings in total that is stacks and stacks and stacks if i was giving you these for a pound a piece sterling silver that'd be 86 pounds would it be out of the question would it i don't think so really because if you were shopping somewhere else and they gave you this heart chain for a pound you'd snap that up the toggle clasp incredible i mean a pound for a head pin maybe not but hmm. The fact that this is all sterling silver, the, the price tag you have to appreciate. Don't get complacent. And you know what? You've got the extended money back guarantee. So shopping today is definitely a good idea, I'm thinking. SHGC 34, 16 pounds and 95 pence. It's lovely to have your company here today. Don't forget to keep interactive with us. We will be relaying all your text messages to Liz, either during the live show, live show or afterwards. So please don't worry. Oh, we'll have a sip of my tea. Mm -mm. Isn't Cass lovely? Now, Doobie doobie doo. I'm going to give to you. I'm so sorry. We've had lots of questions about Liz's DVD. It's sold out. A lot of our pieces are selling out today. The DVD was one of the first things to sell out. It's gone. Now, if you're still joining the lines, we have still got the sterling silver available because a lot of people just went Rup! on the phone lines thinking, oh, it's sold out, it hasn't yet. We've got some left, so don't worry. I think approaching half of the stock is gone, so you've got some space there. Now, let's go, Kirsty, to. Let's go to 19. Let's do some beads. Now, um, as you know, I'm a little bit obsessed with geometric beading at the moment. I've been looking at it and thinking it's wonderful. Uh, am I too obsessed with it? I'm sorry. <laughs> Every time there's a round, I go, geometric beading or soutache. I'm a bit obsessed with all of those things. Now, beading. Uh, Liz, you don't use a uniform bead often. You're a no. man. You're, uh, and this is actually where I think it's wonderful because we have got lots of different guest designs that offer different things. But if I was to give you beads like this, rounds like this, tell me what you would give to me back. <gasps> what would you create out of it? Uh, just from just that, you're putting me on the spot there. <laughs> Aha, that's what it's all about, my dear. Um, well, I, I certainly, I, I would like to create some contrasts in, amongst that, actually. Um, it's really quite hard to see from here the, the different colours. If you look in your desk, there's a little screen. It's oh, a new yes. thing. Oh, see, there wow. you go. Yeah, now I can see the colours. They are fantastic. Okay. Ooh. Would I'm, you I, use them I'm, just as a necklace to hang something on with yes. some lovely colours? I have to say, I would still want to mix them with some bigger stones. They would absolutely. be absolutely. That's absolutely. To cool. me, they would be like part of my um, essential stash that I would use to mix in because the sizes of them will they will go, go so well with as spacer beads with bigger things um, and the colours are beautiful and vibrant again they'll give a pop of colour to something that's fairly uh, less colourful really Let, so so. fairly muted in yes. comparison yes. what about using these to frame big cabochons that you've yes. got would you ever do that oh yes I could yes yes I would do that now, rounds are particularly popular here at the moment because a lot of you have got your bead loom, a lot of you are weaving, a lot of you are soutashing as well. You have got four strands here, six, four, six and four mil. So two, six, uh, why did I say it like that? Because that's how they were laid out. You've got two <laughs> lots of four mil. My own brain can't catch up with my mouth sometimes. I'm so sorry. Two lots of four mil, two lots of six mil. <laughs> 
Are you expecting somebody else's brain to catch up with your mouth, Sometimes, Jenny? yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, I wish. Sometimes I'd, I'd say something and think, why can't I be cleverer? <laughs> You know, why can't I just not say things like that? But it doesn't happen, I'm afraid. Now, you have got all four. Look at these glorious colours. To me, it's all about this. Do you know, actually, I was just going to say to you, to me, my favourite, sorry, I dropped it. I'm so sorry. My favourites are the green and the blue. And then I thought, no, Jenny, again, your brain is actually these are Christmassy but look at this glorious strand you know we were talking earlier about that lovely big rounded um, agate that we had that was similar if you wanted to make a lovely graduation that'd be perfect yeah. I think Mark Smith is on the phone for that one and then look at this moss agate yeah. colour aren't they fab aren't they wonderful I love moss agate I think it's awesome look at all those colours it always reminds me of the hungry caterpillar I don't know why <laughs> now look at them all fusion together they do make a nice outstanding, well actually, make a, if you had the toggle clasp, a slider toggle clasps, is that what I mean, to toggle clasp? No, I mean a, sli a slider clasp. If you've got the slider clasp, it, it'll help them stay in place. Get yourself involved, I wish my mouth would catch up with my brain this morning. CUG C35, the awesome agate collection. All four for just 7.95. This is when, if you're not into, into beading, you get them in your stash because you think, that's going to make yes. my polymer clay go way further. That's going to make my friendly plastic go further. My jewel enamel go further. And that's the point, isn't it? But we're not doing it in a way that is anything other than a genuine gemstone. Yeah. So big smiles on our faces. Agate, we've seen out there being sold for so much more. Agate jewellery can be expensive. Mm. If your daughter or your son love jewellery making, what about Phoebe? I bet she'd like these, wouldn't oh, she? Yes, she would. Go with her macrame. You can ask Santa maybe, Phoebes. <laughs> I hope she's feeling okay. Now, if you, if you're, and just think about that Christmas period, actually. Think about the days that you, you want to get the house done, but you need to entertain the children, give them some beads. My nieces, <laughs> Leia and Mina, are obsessed with jewellery making. Mm. And I sent them over some stuff, and her, her mum said, I've had the whole afternoon to myself. <laughs> They've just been sat at the table, jewellery making. Yes. How wonderful, they're little princesses. 17, <laughs> uh, sorry, seven pounds, 17. It should be 17, shouldn't it? Seven pounds, 95 pence. A wonderful value that we're seeing here today and it really is fabulous to have you all on board we love your crafty peeps now Kirstalina now Kirsty, how old are you going to be tomorrow I need to know 28 eh remember oh that? my goodness gosh that's so far in the distant past I hardly remember that I can't I don't think I can remember <laughs> being 28 either actually that was the age that I had my son did you mm -hmm. my first oh. born did you? Yeah. Well, it was a good year for you. <laughs> yes, it was. It was a busy year. Yes, it was. It was a very hot summer, as far as I remember. Was it? <laughs> yeah, really hot. <laughs> well, we did have a hot summer, didn't we? Have a look <laughs> at this. What year did you have your son? 1990. Hey. He was 89, actually. 89. Yes. Yeah, summer of 89, I think it was. So, yeah. Can you imagine it? When was your birth year, Kirst? 85, eh? 85. Uh. You're a modern girl. <laughs> now, have a look at these. <laughs> I love the shape of these. I love that we've mm. got facets because we've seen shapes similar lately but without the checkerboard faceting. So it's new to me to see this checkerboard faceting. Now, if you bought the um, Amazonite earlier, the little ones I think will go beautifully mm. in between. And purple's always a great one because I think any skin tone can use it. Any skin tone can carry purple off. It's said to be the colour of creativity. Gemma Crow said to us on Monday, she creates more with purple. It just happens for no particular reason, but they do call it the mm. colour of creativity. February's birthstone, so a great one for that. Now, you've got pendant opportunities here. And what I like about these is that on the reverse side, they're flat. So they're going to sit mm. against the skin really nicely. Because if they go, it goes all the way, other way around, uh, then it can raise, can't it, slightly. The heart chain from the kit I just gave you would look gorgeous with one of these in a necklace, wouldn't it? Absolutely stunning. Amethyst in this shape. Now, okay, Liz, this isn't a regular shape. It's not a round. <laughs> it's got a nice flat back to it. It really appeals to me, that does. It does? It's beautiful, yes. What yes. would you do with it? Again, I like want to contrast it with something of different shape, but uh, something long again, actually. Maybe having a, a little neck piece with, interspersed with something much longer. Yeah, I contrasting like colour. The, yeah. I like these with um, rose gold in between. Oh, yes. Nice, yes. They? If you want something petite and delicate, yeah. but you could also build it into something that was much more striking and bolder. 
You could almost sort of make petals out of these yes, sort of spiking out, couldn't you? They make you? me think of teeth, actually. <laughs> Good teeth? Yeah, teeth. Do no, they make they make sort of little. <laughs> it's just the shape of them. They're really pretty and they, they sparkle beautifully. They do. They are lovely. Pendants. Little girls. Mm. A wedding gift. A little bridesmaid. Oh, a little bridesmaid. If I got married, I'd want like 20 yeah. little bridesmaids. They'd also work as a, as a bangle, in a bangle, um, so that you set them one one way, one the other way as well. So they alternated in their directions and you did them with the, maybe some beautiful wire work either side. Like that kind of thing. Yes, or yes, that way, or facing it, so they were side oh, by side. sorry. Does that, does that make sense? Yes, so they're like snipped together yes, like that. Yes, together, so that um, they were slightly uppy up, downy. Up yes, up and downy, that's it. Yeah. Uppy downy. Yes. Uppy downy. <laughs> I'm going to count these for you because if they are pendants, if you are thinking, yes, wedding favour, perfect, perfect. Like my Gloucestershire keeps coming out, doesn't it? <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Thirty-two. I've got on my strand. You should have there or thereabouts. A lot of bridesmaids. Now, if if they were fifty p <laughs> each, that would be good because it's mm. amethyst. They're not. They're not even going to be 50p each. So if you were thinking about giving these to your bridesmaids, if you were thinking about just a pendant, if you were thinking perhaps about making a profit, you tell me, isn't this going to be amazing? 100 carats. You can work out the individual carat weight because you just divide that by 32. They're 12 by 8. I can't do that because I'm too stupid. EBG P81 is your item code. They're only twelve ninety five, and, and I, the thing about amethyst is, I always think your customers know it. We grow oh. up with amethyst; it's familiar. These look kind of Egyptian. Do you know what I'd like these with? Each pendant would cost you how much? If you well, if you were out there buying this, what would you pay for amethyst? Do you tell me. What have you seen amethyst for in the high, even on the high street jewelers? I like that com colour combination because it's mm -hmm. kind of Egyptian to me. And if you're inspired by the Egyptian jewellery, then it's perfect for that. I've got my Labradorite bicones here. That's what I was thinking of that I think they would look beautiful with. Yeah, they do, don't they? Yes. Ollie just said, I saw a plain round stretchy amethyst bracelet for £20. Yeah. Did you, Ollie? In Brum? I'm going to go out. I'm going to go out now. <laughs> he even told me the shop, but I won't say it. <laughs> Twelve ninety-five. EDGP eighty-one is your item code. You've got a hundred carats here. Another twelve by eight, my darlings. Now, They're lovely. I'm going to give to you some silver toggle clasps. Now have a look at this, and again a similar deal to the one we gave you this morning, this time in silver on e-coated copper. How, do I get a hundred pairs again? Ardo, ardo, ardo. Have a look at all of this. Toggle class village. <laughs> I like how they've set that. That's very neat and tidy. It is. Do you know what it's like? It's like um, what's that game? Tetris. <laughs> I pity the poor person who had to put them out like yeah. that. <laughs> who was that? Was it Claire? One. Oh dear. Two. Oh no. <laughs> With her ruler, because they have to be perfect. Could no. you not just do it digitally? Use a bit of Photoshop and just set up one, and then put all the rest out on Photoshop. Don't give. Don't give her <laughs> ideas. We've got to keep her busy, or she chats. <laughs> not really. She's, she's, did she do that? Did she just do that? Yeah. Okay. Oh wow. Have a look. I can't even, I don't even know how to do Photoshop. We've just done our Christmas picture. Oh. Which I'm going to show you on the, I'm going to show you later. <laughs> it's that we were all in our Christmas jumpers around the fire. Oh. <laughs> it's so it was cheesy. the middle of summer, was it? it was, we did it at the, uh, at the weekend. Oh. And we had it all done and it's hilarious. I, I'll show you everybody. Now, <laughs> you've got 100 pairs, toggle class that are silver. So if you're thinking, right, I love the deal earlier. I've got the antique ones. I'd love to see that in other metals. Here it is. Here it is, darlings. 100 pairs. These go, do you know, I do use these as a feature. Yes. And I put them on the asymmet. They go, they could go to the decolletage for me and then I run three lots of chain. I've done this loads of times, three lots of chain. Actually, I've got a Hannah Oxbury original that I took on holiday with me. It was the same, <laughs> lovely toggle class and then three lots of chain and she'd put hematite in there with it. Oh, mm. I, I, how many people came up to me and said, I love your necklace. Yeah. I said, it's an Oxbury. <laughs> All of these. For just 
19 that you knew where we go 1995 don't forget if you've shopped with us already today it's one pmp that you pay no more no less one at uh, two pounds 95 pence have a look at all of these that you've got absolutely oh oh i just had an avalanche way where are you going they misbehave they do absolutely wonderful deal loads of you there make sure you're checking out baskets don't forget your extended money back guarantee from now until the 31st of january next year there's that many it's going to take me eight for ages takes me for ages that's what my children say oh that takes me for ages look well, instead of just ages four ages look at that these are easy for kids to uh, do up and undo as well aren't they because the little class can be a bit fiddly. JLG P71. Don't forget we've got Sarah Elvin coming up for you at one o'clock today. She's uh, buzzing around the building right now. She was up early. She was getting the kids to school. I saw her Facebook update this morning. Nah. <laughs> Such a Facebook junkie, aren't I? Like, why, why do you have to go on there every day? Don't know. No. I'm going to give to you box number... Mm -hmm. Oh, where are they? The Teflon sheets. There, no, that's not it. That's not it either. They're not rolled up. Is it just the Teflon sheet on its own? Oh, I've got them. I've got them. Now, here we go then, my lovelies. Right, so we've got the squares. Liz uses these a lot. I we've do. seen the ones with wings today, which we love. <laughs> but you're getting, how many? One, two, three. Ten. Ten of these. Again, these actually do make quite good coasters, don't they? <laughs> they are extremely useful for everything. It speeds up what you do because you can just be working on one project, set it to side, work on the next one, and off you go again. It's just so handy. And now, impatient. How many, how many times a day do you use these? Uh, if I'm in the studio, I use them, I don't know, 50, 100 times. If I'm working on something, I just keep on using them all the time. Do you have loads and loads of I these? I do, yes. Can I wipe them clean? Yes. You know, you, you, you can use them as a, uh, for your alcohol inks as well. If you want to mix your alcohol inks, just splot a bit on there and then use your, the blending solution and just a paintbrush to pick up the colour from there. And then it just wipes off with a wipe of blending solution and it's gone. Now, um, with your alcohol inks and things, they won't absorb that? No. Nope. No. Nope. And same with, I do it with acrylic paints as well. And then I can just peel it off. You like peeling PVA off. I like I peeling love it. acrylic paint off there it's, oh, it's really lovely good. you can use it as well then yes. afterwards can't you <laughs> so if you use mediums such as polymer clay such as your precious metal clays such as friendly plastic such as resin and enamels jewel enamels then you're going to want shrink these. plastic shrink plastic anything that's got a bit of heat in it, in it or you, these have got resistance so if you want to keep something that's water-based or oil-based on top of it yes it's got resistance so just like the alcohol inks they'll just sort of bubble away ready for you to use now you get 10 of these they're heat proof you can use them in the kitchen but uh, the thing that uh, appeals to us for these against the others is that they don't have that real corrugate, corrugation yeah. on them so the print won't because uh, if you do use the ones that you buy just from the shop there's a these have got this little print on them because sort of um sort of crisscrossy print because it's a woven fabric with mm. a coating and mm. if the coating is very thin um then you get some of the woven texture coming through but with these they're really thick and glossy so there's no texture and that's lovely Beautiful and that won't transfer with. onto exactly. my onto my to polymer anything. clay yes. or anything that yeah. i'm using I think most of our jewellery makers use these at some time. And if you've got the heat gun or anything like that, these are going to work a treat for you. Maybe you use another medium that you need to heat uh, things with. Then you need this in your basket. Glue. Keep. Put glue on it. Glue. Just stop, put your glue or PVA glue, any glue, even glue, the silicon-based glues and things. I just put a blob on that and then pick it up with my toothpick. And then it just rubs off that. How lovely. And so you know what? If I want to um, put jewel enamel down to then put a head pin on yep. and do that swirly 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 thing to make it all nice on the end this yep. is perfect just they're spill it out onto yes. that anywhere where you want something that's non-stick and easy to clean they're just perfect uh invaluable for you liz yes yes absolutely i can't live without them <laughs> liz can't live without <laughs> no, these i'm sad i can't live without them <laughs> do you know what though it's just anything that makes your life easier is blinking yes. great get it in your basket if you've got your ones with wings here's the square ones yes. for you 
J J G C thirty. I love the ones with wings. Eight ninety five for ten. That's under a pound per sheet. I know they're handles, but they're wings now. <laughs> under a pound per sheet. Very good. You will use them all the time. Really, really good. And it will speed up your processing so so much. Make things go so much faster because you can just work on something and put it to one side. You could literally have ten different projects yes, on the go at you once, can. couldn't you? Yeah. This is me projecting. <laughs> Which is very handy, you know, if you're batch I said project. doing things in batches for your if you're selling things and you want to do everything in stages in batches, then you can do ten at once effectively with that. There's no rule that says actually you can only put one project on one sheet. It's Neither. as many as you can no. fit on there, yeah. isn't it? Can I cut this as well? Yes, of course you can. So I can use a tiny I can cut it in half and you then could. add yeah. twenty of them. It took me a while yeah. to make up the <laughs> if you're looking at small things, yes. The smaller they are, the trickier they are to hold still when you do do stuff. That's the, what I will say. And you can bend these to make uh, your pieces curved. Yes. Liz and I were talking about it with the winged ones. They're laughing at me because I keep saying wings. <laughs> well, I was thinking of them as wings as well. Wings. Yes. They are. Not in a Claire Rainer way. No. <laughs> Have a look. They don't even know that is. <laughs> with, I'm showing my age now. Look at that. So you can really bend your pieces if you yes. need to, keep them together, wait for it to dry, and you'll get that perfect. Don't put them corner to corner. They're only eight ninety five. That's a great price. Very bag. good. Don't fold them. That's the only thing because you will get a crease in them then. Yeah, and you won't get it out no, either. No. Unless you want to fold a permanent yes. fold so that yeah. you've got you can make a triangle. Yeah. You know, you can also use dry white pens and things and permanent pens on there um, to, if you want to mark out shapes. So if you're doing some lace work or you wanted the, the jewel enamels to flow into a certain area, mark it out with a, the pen and do what you need to and then afterwards just wipe it off. You've just remind me, well, oh, permanent marker won't stay in No, because all you have to do is use something like um, the uh, solvent for the, the, the blending solution for the Nail varnish alcohol remover does it as well, doesn't yes. it? Yes, and it will come away. Actually, you've just reminded me of something. Um, Debbie made a well out of a polymer clay by cutting a shape into this and pushing it in and yeah. then peeling it off. Yeah. You can make wells with these, yes. can't you? And at that price, you can afford to you know, have it chop into one and mess yeah. about with it and make it do what you want. Absolutely. Make cones and all sorts of different shapes. Yeah, and just keep them, have a little shape pop. Yeah. I've got to move on because these are absolutely nearly sold out. <laughs> now, I'm going to give to you. Oh, yes, please can I sniff one of them? <laughs> I realise that was a very odd request. I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed. I haven't got one here to ship for you to sniff. I'm going to have... I, I love the smell. They smell yes. like tutti frutti. Do they? Yeah. <laughs> maybe it's the wrong kind of... I have not been eating the right kind of tutti frutti, maybe. I don't know. So you've got the different types of silver. I'm going to give you a wonderful gleam bundle now. You've got that pewter almost there, look. So maybe this is white gold to you. And then the silver. Then I've got the peacocks. <gasps> Well, you know I've got to have these, and in fact, these are the very ones that uh, sit underneath my sink where all my crafty stuff goes. Uh, most women have got cleaning products down there, not me. Now, you've got your reds, reds and your purple colours, you've got your rich coppers, you've got, well, I can't see where it's, it's well, you've got your, you can see what colours they are there, can't you? And then you've got your golds and your coppers. Mm. These ones are called copper reds. You need all of them, that's the thing. I think you need Absolutely. every colour of gleams because you mix them all and you can just keep building up the layers and colours. I mean, it's so much nicer when you've got more than one colour. It's like making art, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. It really is lovely. I, I, and you just keep on going. And the other thing is when they dry, you buff them up to a little sheen um, and they, they come up beautifully. It's a bit like, well, anybody who remembers having to polish their shoes to go to school, using shoe polish it's a bit like doing that you just let them dry and then buff them up buff them up yeah and they come a lovely shine that's so. the only one chore i absolutely am obsessed with polishing shoes i love polishing shoes i love I it too. Why. i love it i love seeing that shine yes honestly i do there's something wrong with me i polish me as boots that you wouldn't believe <laughs> now these are 7.95 each individually on our website so you've got over 30 pounds worth of value within a bundle kirst is going to do something awfully cheeky over 30 pounds this bundle should be and these colors like liz said liz said these are a must-have mm. i agree and for all of your crafty yes. needs oh yes in every medium these will transfer to paper they look wonderful on a dried leaf yes they do on on glass and metal mm -hmm. you, and also you can put them on textiles too 
if you want to. It's, Absolutely. So it's just beautiful. These and if they do, fun. some people have said to me that they dry out. Well, they, they can dry out, but all you have to do is put a little bit of terps in, yep. poke it about, leave it overnight, cl close it up, and then leave it overnight, and then um, they're refreshed in the morning. Yeah, do you know they are, so don't worry yeah. about that. They last and last and last and last and last. <laughs> all of this, not for £30 today. We're going to give you the wonderful, extreme value deal. For £24.95, you should be paying over £30 for this. At £24.95, you've got yourself a nice £5 saving. IQGC15, it means you can buy something else, maybe a gorgeous strand. For £24.95, you've got that extended money back guarantee from now until the 31st of January next year, 2014. I don't think there's many companies doing that. I love that we are. <laughs> I love that we give you such backup here at Jewelry Maker. 800 is a free number if you're ringing from a UK landline and you can get shopping on the web. I was gonna say you could get sh um, webbing on the shop then and I thought that doesn't sound like could get webbing on the shop. You could try it. <laughs> now, it's Kirsty's birthday tomorrow, so we will be uh, telling Kirsty on your own birthday when you work somewhere. Have you ever noticed how wrong the, the thing is that you need to bring your own cakes in? Mm -hmm. She's always worked on her birthday. Now, but it's silver clay tomorrow. Maybe we can make you a little pendant. Now, let's give to you. Doopy doo doo doo. Have a look at, oh, I love these colours. And actually, let's start with the O's because these will make a fabulous frame for friendly plastic. Have a look. So you've got your O's here. And Liz, I have seen you use things like this um, with your friendly plastic. Yes. And these are the ones you <laughs> always go for, aren't they? They are lovely. And because they've got a, uh, they've got a hole all the way through, sort of haven't they horizontally through. Yep, they drill hold there, yeah. Yeah, you know, you can also fill them with a little bit of jewel enamels. Oh, lovely. And if you put your thread through first and then you fill with jewel enamels, it's lovely. Really, really beautiful. Just being able to get that, that frame is wonderful. Yes. Yes. I mean, you can fill them with CD beads. You can yes. leave them like that and yes. make something quite merry You can fill quant. alternate ones and have them. Yeah. <laughs> fill <laughs> them with polymer clay. Yes. Or just have them up as they are and set them into things. You want to? Yeah, you could set them in. You know how you were doing, how you did the, um, what's it called? The where it's see-through oh the Plastic. image transfer yeah yes you could put those into this you know like you, you did could. with the magazine you could float these in you like could. you do with resin yes. in a way have genuine gemstones in there and the iridescence because they're shell now you've got to love these colors and again oh, yeah. if you are working um from home over christmas and the kids are there as well you can get them involved what about one of these in between they, they would work really well wouldn't they you could make your own toggle clasp couldn't you and use this as the mm -hmm. um as the actual toggle piece. Wow! Oh, isn't that Who pretty? Did this? Oh, Rosanna. Look at what she's done. I find this very 60s. It is extremely 60s. Isn't it? Yes. yes. Mary Quant. It is. Uh, my mum was obsessed, was still is obsessed with <laughs> Mary Quant. And this is very Mary Quant, very Bieber, very Twiggy inspired, yes. isn't it? Absolutely lovely, isn't it? I love that. Well done. It's, it's reminding me kind of, um, you know that very pretty girl that's in Austin Powers, the first one, and then Elizabeth Hurley. This is the kind of jewellery they would get them to wear. <laughs> Look at those gorgeous ovals. They're 10 by 8, and the green shell donuts are 15 mil. It's called the Sensational Shell Bundle. This is shell-tastic. You get absolutely stacks. I love that coral colour. And again, like I said, if you are creating for kids, it's nice and lightweight for them to wear, or if you want to do it together with them over the Christmas period. Maybe you've got loads of family coming over and you're thinking to yourself, I want to get, I want a jewellery make, but I can't because they're there. <laughs> well, get them involved, especially when you get deals like the one you're about to see right now. And I must encourage you all to check out baskets that are unchecked baskets on the web that are going to not make it home to you if you miss out to a telephone caller. MXG. C24 is your item code. You get six strands for just. Very, 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 very cheeky. Just nine pounds and 95 pence per strand. What's that per strand, Kirsty Worcester? What's that per strand? Unbelievable deal. Six strands at just 9.95. 
165 a strand. I think that's an awesome deal for you, don't you? It's wicked. You can't get plastic. I've never seen plastic strands for that anyway. I'm si I'm doing a lot of sh going out there and and sort of making sure market research is what yes. they call it, isn't it? <laughs> I'm walking into that bead shop and I feel like I should be dressed, you know, like a detective in a Mac, but I think <laughs> no, Jenny, don't go mad. You know, because I think they're going to see me in there. But actually, the last lady that I went in didn't even know that Jewelry Maker existed. Yes. And her prices were mega high. And I was thinking, if only you knew. <laughs> if only you yeah. knew. But they mm. can't always get the same deals that you can get. That's well, actually, they... I did have a chat with her. And she can't yeah. get genuine gemstones at all. She said it just it can't yes. afford to. That's it. Now, I'm going to give to you box number 13. Can you make, you know how I was a bit obsessed over poppies? You could make a poppy, couldn't you, out yeah. of them? Jewel enamel or friendly plastic. Or friendly plastic, plastic. yes. Friendly plastic could. probably easier than jewel enamel. Yes, I, although you could do the wire twisting method and filling Yes, filling like we shapes. just did, yeah, you're yes, right, actually. So. Well, now, I do love mica powders. I think they're yeah, like fantastic. Yeah, Kirsty <laughs> just said Liz's going to love this. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to me about mica powders uh, and why they're so wonderful. They're so versatile, and you just use them with everything, and, and you use them dry as colouring agents on top of things or in things, or as wet uh, with a little bit of water as a paint. So if I've never seen or heard, I've just tuned in now, mica powder, yes. exactly what is it, exactly how do I use it, and exactly what can I use it for? Mica powders, they effectively have a pigment in them, and it's really quite a strong pigment, but it's also got a shimmer to it. Um, and you can just add a tiny bit of water and you use them as a pa with a paintbrush to paint things like cloud clay, or paper and card and things like that, or you use them dry, just as a dry powder, uh, which you can dry, uh, brush onto sticky friendly plastic, onto polymer clay, beautiful on polymer clay. Sticky friendly plastic is friendly plastic wet that is wet, right? No, that you've that heated. That's heated, heated, sorry, with yes, a heat gun. That's yes, and yeah. that just gives them a tacky surface, and you just brush it on and it sticks beautifully. Okay. Um, polymer clay onto jewel enamels, you can use them with the ink pads and the pen that we've we've had, you know, the, the for the embossing, yeah. the detail. Oh, I use pen. it with that. I yes. <laughs> It looks beautiful. You can do it in exactly the same way as we did it with the detailing powders, but obviously when you heat it, it's not going to raise up and give you that finish, but it will give you colour where you had pattern, where you've you stamped the pattern. They are so versatile, really beautiful, and the colours mix as well, and that and is the most glorious range. I love that you can use this as an actual watercolour yes. paint, but with a sparkle. It's got a real shimmer, a mm. sheen to it, and it's just beautiful. They blend beautifully. We had, um, Debbie had on her workshop the other day, a lady came w and she brought her husband who was an artist who sat in the corner and painted the whole oh. time. He'd have loved these. Yes. <laughs> and actually, if you are that lady, get him a treat. <laughs> he was wonderful. He just sat there. Every time she does yeah. jewellery courses, he sits there painting away. How wonderful. <laughs> now, uh, Liz is saying this is particularly glorious because of the colours. Yes. You love Actually, these. I love the colours. I mean, the way you can mix them in with your jewel enamels, the diamond clear, and which is what we did earlier on, and that makes you a whole new colour of jewel enamels, effectively, mm. the colour that you don't have in jewel enamels. So I, they're just versatile, really versatile. Really versatile. Now, individually each, Kirsty, you're just telling me they were two ninety five each. Well, when you think about how far these go, that actually is a very good price tag. Two pounds and ninety-five uh, pence each is wonderful. All the colours of the rainbow that you've got here aren't they glorious? You're going to get all of these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. I wish I could do mathematics. They're not two ninety-five each, though. So what should they be? Seven times two ninety-five. Over twenty pounds. Over twenty pounds. <laughs> I'm going to make them, I can't do that, I'm rubbish at adding up. <laughs> now I'm going to give you all of these for just £17.95, wow. so you're getting a wonderful deal. Now come shopping with us when we put together these bundles, because it does mean that when we put lots of things together, you're getting a bulk deal. Bye. £17.95, value personified right here, all these gorgeous colours and of course that extended money back guarantee. If you're trying out this brand new medium for the first time or if you're going to add this to a medium you're already doing, whether it's polymer clay or whether you can paint and you just like the idea of sparkly watercolours, £17 and I do, I love that idea. I do, mm. I love drawing and writing, mm. those, those are my two things I love to do. £17.95, HZGC06 is your item code. You've got the yellow, the zesty orange, the soft baby pink, the poppy, the blue violet and the fern green. Well done to everybody that's got theirs. Do.
Now, I'm going to refresh your memory on the silver toggle class. We have not sold out. A couple of people asking, have you sold out? No, I will give you the details of those now. Julia texting in, as is Andrea. Andrea and Julia texting in. No, we haven't sold out. They are still here. A few, few remain for you. A few opportunities do still remain for you at 1995. You get 100 pairs of silver on e coated copper toggle class to make your designs look and feel more professional, to add that value perhaps to your designs, to make cufflinks with and pendants with, or even to use these as frames for your friendly plastic or your polymer clay or your resin or your jewel enamel, any of that, all oh, for £19.95. You're getting a wonderful deal there. And don't forget our early bird this morning was the antique bronze version for the same price tag, just £19.95. So for under £40, you can get 200 toggle class, which is a truly, truly excellent deal. JLG P71 is the item code for you to get that in your life. And don't forget Sarah Elvin and the wonderful Fiona at Fee, Fee not, not, I was going to call her Fiona, and then everyone that's Irish in my family says Fiona, Fiona. And I just accidentally called that to Fiona. Now, I'm going to give you the jewel enamel starter kit, which I've put here. No, that's not, that's the, uh, yes, that is. I'm, I'm getting my mediums mixed up. <laughs> now, jewel enamel starter kit sees you with the melting pot. It's been very, very popular today and we have now gone down to limited quantities. Now the melting pot is wonderful for your embossing powders and it's probably uh, one that you've seen a few times around in the crafty world. These are wonderful embossing powders but with a difference because they're the thicker type which means that they are more versatile. It means that the quality we feel is a lot, lot better. You're getting the three embossing powders. You're getting three mica powders, copper, silver and yellow. The stellar flash you get there as well. The colourful thoughts gleam collection that with three gleams in there as well and you get three Carantha moulds. You've got the heart, the pyramid, and the face. The colours for the jewel and emerald are amethyst, deep gold, and ruby red. And don't forget, the melting pot is included within this deal. Seventy-nine pounds and ninety-five pence, and we're giving you the opportunity, of course, to shop with your debit card or your credit card here at Jewelry Maker with the extended money-back guarantee. If you're shopping for one of the, your loved ones that is a, an avid jewelry maker and you want to further their skills, maybe they've looked at this before and you've thought. I'm going to get them a real treat for Christmas this year. Maybe you're a husband shopping for your wife. Maybe it's the other way around. Maybe you're shopping for your partner today. $79.95 is wonderful. And let me assure you that if you didn't know this, if it is a gift for a brand new jewelry maker, we'll also give you a free DVD, uh, a free, which just honestly is wonderful. Loads and loads of tips and advice and now a free book and a magazine. Uh, you will also get the opportunity. So now is great to shop for Christmas presents if you're shopping unsure because you don't need to worry about sending it back until the 31st of January next year if that's something you want to do. We're that confident you're going to love this that uh, we give you that extended money back guarantee from now until the 31st of January next year. £79.95 we're going to get on over to Liz and have a look at all of the wonderful things she's managed to create today. Oh no we're not. No, we're not. We're just going over there. <laughs> we're just going over there. I can bring Normally, some back over. <laughs> Liz panicked then and went, Wah! I don't know if I'm put it all away. Uh, so <laughs> we're not going to do that. <laughs> No, we've, she's tied it up already. Oh, now, yeah. come on over, come on over. Uh, we're we're going to go over and have a chat, and we're also going to talk to Liz about when she's going to be in next, and uh, if oh, there yes. are any workshops, are there? Are you going to be doing workshops? Yeah, I'm just going to organise those, but it'll be the new year. It will be the new okay, year. Okay, brilliant. Um, and I'm next in in December. It's the first half, and I can't remember the date, so sorry about that. That's fine. You're as disorganised yeah. as me, which is wonderful It's in the know. diary, and, and I, I'll look at it. The beginning of December is fine. Exactly. There's lots of things happening between now and then, but the nice thing is that after Christmas, I'm going to do the afternoon shows, and I'm really looking forward to that. We are. Yeah. We are really looking forward to that. And especially yeah. if you've bought your bundles today and you're thinking, right, I need more Liz yeah. time coming up for you. Don't worry, Liz is going to be here much more in the new year. Thank the Lord for it. <laughs> and it is wonderful to have Liz. Are you back before Christmas? Is this your only show before um, Christmas? The one in December. And then the that's one it. in December. Oh, yes. yeah, of course. Yes. I keep thinking if it's December, it is Christmas. I tend to do it one, once a month, but it'll be much better in the afternoon because there's more time to demonstrate, so you'll see more things. Fa so this is fantastic for anybody who yeah. has managed to get theirs yeah. today. And uh, the Jewel Enamel Starter Kit just coming up on your screen right now. Please don't forget <laughs> us on the Wall of Fame at 79.95. It's uh, studio at jewelrymaker.com. We are joined momentarily by the wonderful Fee and Hi. the gorgeous Sarah Elvin, who will be showing you some wonderful new techniques. Sarah, what's up your sleeve today, darling? Um, speedy cabbage socks and 
<laughs> oh, I love Sally. I thought Sally you were hissing too. at me then, yeah. Fee, in a pantomime. She's dancing. Went, <laughs> and, I went, and she was going for silk, like I'd know what that meant. <laughs> <laughs> silk sarp, sorry, silk. Yeah, um, new technique to sorry silk and two cabochon settings. Two cabochon oh, settings. Oh, wonderful. Loads and loads. She got the school run done today. I was following you uh, on <laughs> Facebook, seeing that you were rushing. There's not enough hours in the day. She even planned the moment of which she's going to go to bed tonight. <laughs> uh, now, the uh, heat mat is on the bottom of your screen. Don't forget, we had the 10 smaller ones as well. Mm -hmm. And you've got your heat mat and your gun at just 19 95 which is a massive saving for you. I think that's about um, a £10 I saving. I think got the wrong one. Oh, it's on the bottom look, oh, on, the, on bottom. the bottom of the screen. Oh, UQG okay, C16 at yeah. the top <laughs> is your dual enamel starter kit. Yeah. <laughs> LZF T65 at 79.95. So the bottom of your screen was the heat gun. Um, so, Fee, I've made ever such a mess over there. She's cleaning up for me, which I love. I thought. Now, <laughs> <laughs> if you want to create one last look, let's have a look. If you want to create fa fabulous pieces of jewellery, and we really are privileged to have Liz here with us today, just like this. Now this was our favourite. <laughs> How stunning is that? Then grab this kit. And you know what the fusible films, that's what you want. That's Those there. wonderful fusible films. Yes. Now don't forget Ed's up tonight on uh, Freeview Channel 50. It's Miss It Miss Out tonight with Ed him. He has got some crazy, crazy deals that Fee and I are going to have him for. We're going to lynch him for them. The deals of that pesky. <laughs> She's shaking her fist. She's, she, he's got more deals than you can shake a fist at. <laughs> we're, we're jealous of that. She smells good. Uh, $79.95. Again, your price tag for your jewel enamel starter kit. So, Ed, as I said, up at uh, 5 o'clock. It is 5 till 9 at Freeview Channel 50. Now, please, like I said, don't forget to send us in your pieces. Jewel enamel or friendly plastic, whatever yes. it is that you're grabbing for the first time today. And it is so important, isn't it, to really get as many, many skills under our belt. Oh, I think so. It just expands the possibilities. The more you play with the different mediums, the more possibilities come. And you just got to get stuck in there and try and not be afraid. Ex so. This is it's so important. Don't yes. be afraid of trying new things. And, yes. and also think about how we're introducing fabrics. Uh, mm. We saw Sheila make that amazing, fascinated with the sari silk. We're about to see Sarah Alvin's take on sari silk as well, which I cannot wait for. I love there that is so stuff. I love it. Yeah. I love <laughs> it. And don't don't forget that of course the Liz's techniques that she's shown us today with friendly plastic and with enamel can also be used in your other crafty ways. If you're into mm. paper craft, card if you're making. into card making, mm. if you're into um, your fabrics and things like that you can cushions these can go on cushions it looks wonderful so really think outside the the box tomorrow we are joined for the official last time we thought it was the last time last week uh, with uh, natalia the official last time it's kirsty's birthday show we got lots of fun oh. up our sleeves tomorrow <laughs> so please join us at 9 a.m thank you so much for your company and your interaction uh, during today's show we hope you have loads of fun with fee who's up right now we'll see you later bye The Jury Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jury designer.